Ladies and gents, gents and gentle, ladies, welcome back to another day, another stream. We're gonna continue, and we're heading into the final character that we get to look, sort of, I guess. And we're gonna see what the story is gonna be like. He has a baseball bat.いや、藤田監督ずいぶんお思い切った采配ですね。うん、そうですね。坂井選手に何かね、アクシデントでもあったのか、もしくはこう延長をね、見越しての策なのか。なるほど。まあ、どちらにしても何か別の意図があっての大
今日という今日は絶対返してもらうからなおい開けろほら開けろってばあああおたくも切り取り時間かかるならうちは出直そうかうんいやそんなんどうしたのじゃあ俺も手伝おうかだ,だ大丈夫ですもう帰るんで品田出た方がいいぜ本業さんだよ Real things here. だだ高杉さん高杉さんいやさっき大家さんに会ってねここの大家さんいい人だね家賃を代わりに取り立ててあげるって言ったら喜んで貸してくれたよいや困るな大家さんったら今日振り込もうと思ってたのに<笑>さっきの彼からも借りてんのダメじゃない敵同士でお金の貸し借りしちゃ友達なくすよ<笑>さ,さすがね<笑>さすが高杉さん<笑>いいことおっしゃる<笑>でももっとダメなのはよ本業から借りて返さねえことだよなあしらだ<笑>今日が何の日か忘れたんじゃねえだろう覚えてます覚えてますよ利息の返済にだよなだよなうちの下の子の財布だってもっと入ってるね I'm more cash than that. そんだけだよ<笑>こりゃ恥ずかしい<笑> This is embarrassing <笑>シナだ風俗ライターなんて食えねえ仕事してねえでよ俺がもっと割のいい仕事面倒見てやるよまさか今さらマグロ漁船なんて王道じゃないっすよね以前借金の方に小さな板金屋の権利を抑えたんだが社員不足だよな板金屋そんなに稼げるんですかおう金属の板をプレス機の上に乗せるだけの単純なお仕事なんだけどよおうおうまずはそこの正社員になるで仕事はすごく簡単さ金属と一緒に自分の夢をプレスして落とすんだよおおおおおおおおお社員になれば労災適用されて指一本だいたい三十万くらい保険金が下りるからよ<笑>お前の場合だと一本二本三本<笑>まあ、関西しても鼻くそくらいほじれるだろういやいやいやいや、しょうがないやいやいや、ちょっと、今日の夕方、取材一件入ってるんで、ちゃっちゃと原稿書いてギャラもらって、そしたら、高杉さんとこに直行しようと思ってたんですよ。ほう、関心じゃねえか。でしょさすがに、ちょっと返せないんじゃ、お前のとこでほぼ分かってますよ。<笑>だったらよ、なんでこんな時間まで寝てんのよ。シナだあんまりクロートの金貸し舐めてると出すとこ出すからな。Don't forget you're dealing with a pro. どちらに俺はその気になりゃ、名古屋組にケツ持ってもらうことだってできんだぜ。いやだな、高杉さん。ご冗談を。ちょっと待っいやだ。さっさと仕事してこいウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォーストウォー I'm really curious as what the fuck happened to him. From writing or from pitching or whatever to writing.、Oh, this place doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Do 
217, Jesus. I also need to... Oh, I already opened that one. Good to know. First need to make some money, though. Yo, Tachan, interview. I'm here, I'm here, Lizzie's here! Hi. Yeah, I'm running late, though. Listen, you gotta write about us again. We got clients signing, singing our praise left and right because they read your article. Seems like people still have faith in print media. Yeah, that's great. I'll take it up with the editor-in-chief soon, promise. Gotta go. Yo, Yordi? Yo, Yordi is okay today. Shinada-san! How's it going, man? How about dropping by for some cleavage? For you, we'll keep it cheap. The rest of these saps, fuck them. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm screwed on time and there's work to be done. <laughs> Bet you were just sleeping in. A man's gotta put in proper day's work, you know? Like yours truly. Did you get a haircut? You asked that yesterday. Lizzie, yesterday I told you, yes, I got a haircut. <laughs> God damn it. Ease up on the price gouging. But now I'm noticing right away that... The, <sighs> the Tokyo Gigantes continue to drift rudderless as their search for their new manager has yet to turn up any candidates. Are they... Stuck on, cra on a crash course for disaster this season? Come on, think about work. Gotta get to the club. Anyways, Lizzie, that doesn't count. <laughs> you were here yesterday. You should have noticed instantly yesterday. <laughs> That's Suokun. Good afternoon, or is it evening already? It's good something, I guess. How's that back of yours? Agonizing. No matter how much uh, alignment I apply, it does nothing. And this is one of our finest products, too. Might as well be using toothpaste. Well, you know what they say, results may vary. Oh, that's right. We have a few more samples coming. Though, thought I'd save the one for you. Whoa, thank you. You're always so good to me. <laughs> now I don't have to worry about dinner. Oh dear, you can't go without dinner. You're not so young anymore. <laughs> Truth. Oops, sorry. Gotta run. Bye. Everyone knows him, and everyone seems to like him, except for the people he loans money from. Shh. Yes, it does. Damn, she called us old. Phew. Made it with no time on the clock. Ooh. But Lizzie, we are old, according to people. Okay, let's get down to business. どうも、岩遊びマガジンです。いらっしゃい。何、たっちゃん。取材の時間過ぎて待っとるがね。いやいや、店長いつもごめんなさいね。もうあっちこっちの店に来てくれたのは新人が入ったから。どうですか。Never said俺がよ、ミルク。今日から<笑> Women in their 40s, Jesus, man. ミルクの常連だでさ。今さら体験取材 I'm 50. But I'm not 50, Lizzie. You said for now you're the same age as I am. 
でも俺が言うのもなんだけどあんな写真のっけてまって問題にあうわけ Yes, you are. Now you are 50. No, I'm not. I haven't even hit 30 yet. We're like half a year away from me being 30. So, yeah, so that was. Holy shit. Dizzy? Much? Well, if you're 50, Lizzie, that means you're an Obachan and no longer a lady. Means you're an old hat. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, this banter, Lizzie, stop! <laughs> you too, though. <laughs> True. And be an old man. もしもし、ミルクちゃん。あ、たっちゃん。ごめんね。どうしちゃったのさ。実はね、私の弟がね、久保田警備っていう警備会社に勤めとるんだけど。警備会社。美術品を運搬する警備中に高価なもの壊してまって責任問題になっとるらしいんだわ弁償金を払わんと怖い上司に殺されるかもしれんせんって今会社に監禁されてまっとんだわそれは警察に話した方がいいんじゃない彼の上
Did you come up with that one all by yourself? You fucking with us? Teach this asshole a lesson! You both that security, eh? Getting my butt kicked. This guy is absolutely weak. さん美術品壊して責任問題になってるらしいですね。うん。どういうことやってまったわ。保険屋なんだで片付く問題じゃあるぜ。弁償的なきゃ。こいつには闇金で借金できるのかもしれねえんだわ。Borrow from Loan 野球伝道博物館に運ぶ途中に落としてまって。で、どうすんだ。おめえが代わりに弁償してくれんのか。尊重そこらの人間が金出して買えるような白物じゃねえぞ。弁償は無理だけど。おい、おめえ何勝手に
オーナーはい美術品の運搬いうのはどういうことだ俺は聞いとらんぞ違うんですこれはおみゃまた会社に来た仕事を個人で請け負って未然に稼ごうとしとったんかほうええこれはそのクリジュスタブンウィズフォーキングペンインフェイスクリジュスタブンウィズフォーキングペンインフェイスクリジュスタブンウィズしかもよその方にまで迷惑かけてまってもう一発あちらさんの分も刺したらタイムタイムタイム鳥山さんの件が大ごとにならないなら俺はそれでいいんでそうですかそんならしっかりは見れないか申し訳ございませんでした I'll never look at a pen the same again <laughs> This is great. もしもし、姉ちゃん。ああ、シナラさんのおかげで助かったんだわ。ああ、ありがとう。Pain, <laughs> rain. <laughs> This chocolate gives me pain in my teeth. パートああ、仕事ってことね。助かった。これで取材できる。シナラさんは姉ちゃんの上司ですよね。姉ちゃんはどこのスーパーか教えてくれせんのですが、今度改めてお店までお礼に伺います。She won't even tell that she's a hostess. What the F? 大丈夫だから。そうですか。I love chocolate and other things. Makes me hungry. 今後ともね。Hungry. いや、ミエコよろしくお願いいたします。はい。はいはいはいはい。Any interviews finally about to happen? Back to Club Futomomo. Futomomo! Momo Futo! La Chanchla. このおばさんの写真なんてやっぱり昔の写真を。What are those、uh, fucking plasters on her back though? えー、この間の写真、苦情来とったのもう大変だったよ。雑誌見てミルクちゃんを指名したお客さんがさ、なんであんな写真使うんだ実物の方が断然綺麗なのにって。はい、じゃあ今度は。Those are back nipples. うそ。女が女を捨てなければ、年齢を重ねるほど美しくなる。Only get better with age. p a r e n t l y さ。今日のミルクちゃんの方が綺麗だよ。たっちゃん。たっちゃん。え？ありがとう。お世辞じゃないからね。うん。弟のこと。ああ、あんなのいいってことだよ。それよりミルクちゃんこれは外しておこうかあれやだごめんなさいね<笑><笑>そろそろ体験取材しましょうか今日はお礼の気持ちを込めてよーけっエクストラサーフェス<笑>それじゃシャワーアビオスカー !Just ripped off a back nipple. <laughs> Showers. Ah, just love me an in in-depth interview. This article is going to be a banger for sure. The publisher share is waiting. Going down Kuma Boulevard should be the quickest way. Kume, 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 Bully. Essence of seizing. Let's start with upgrading my HP because I have a bad feeling about this. A 
Sure doesn't mean he is going to bang her for sure. Um, no, I'm pretty sure they were. They banged on the. No banger. Bang her. <laughs> I'll see myself out. <laughs> って、現行料もらったら宇野さんとこ直行しようと思ってたんだからさ。どうせあの闇金にも同じこと言ってんだろ。あ、ズボシだろ。ビンゴ。何が<笑> <あー>、<笑> あの人が金営町に来たばかりの頃だから一年くらい前かな。あいつは相当やばい金貸したって噂だぜ。やばいって。名古屋組と繋がってるってこと噂だけどよ。名古屋組って。Definitely not.俺も金営町に来て15年だけど名古屋組どころかヤクザっぽい奴だよあんま見たことないよ声でけよでもまあ多分どっかにはいるんだろうよ噂だと祖母屋の出前が間違えて名古屋組の事務所に入っただけで面
Hit a home run, get 5,000 yen. I might as well attempt it, right? You used to hit home runs all the time. Head for the betting center. From the editorial office. Hey, it's Shinada. What's the dealio? It's about the manuscript you turned in. Your handwriting's atrocious. Even some of the key points are completely illegible, so I thought I'd go over them with you if that's okay. Oh, sure. And sorry, I was kind of in a rush today. Anyone, anyway, where should we start? Uh, let's see. What about the name of the club you visited? Futo Momo, right? Futo Momo. This says Futo Momo. The letters are all jumbled up. Okay, there's one more. What's the name of the girl you reviewed? Milky Chan. You should know that one. It's Milky Chan. Hey, we're short staffed as it is. If someone weren't so late all the time or didn't have such shoddy handwriting. Oops, you're right. I deserve that. Ha! <laughs> no, really, my bad. That about does it. Sorry to take your time. Oh no, my bad. Don't work. Don't work too hard. Slipping in today was a big no-no. Well, off to the betting center. I do like that we got like three entire new maps to scroll through. Hey, are you Shinada, the sleazy journalist guy? Yep, that would be me. So you're the one who wrote up a thing about Coco, I mean Melon? Oh, you mean... You must be referring to Magical Mystery Melons from Nightlife Magazine. Yeah, that was, what, two issues ago? One of my finest exposés, if I do say so myself. Gotta hand it to the girl for picking such a ripe name. It says... It says in one word what you're about to put in on your hands. They're soft and succulent. They jiggle to the touch. Freshest of the season by far. You shut your filthy mouth! That Gonzo article of yours was my girl. You want to explain why you're messing with another man's woman? Did Melonchon maybe not tell you she's a working girl? Oh, and she's still okay my intrusion into her quarters. Now I see why you're mad. You've got a naughty little melon on your hands. Real talk, though. This is between you and her, so... Can you not go dragging me into this? Don't you pretend you're the victim. I'll make you bleed for this. <sighs> what a nice guy. Coming at me with a knife. Oh, come on. A knife? Really? Hmm, I need a weapon, too. All right, here we go. You picked up a sturdy iron pipe. Shinada is good at weapon attacks. As his skills develop, he'll learn abilities that will let him gain the upper hand when fighting with weapons. When... It fits the situation, use weapons in addition to my Meteor Attack 1 punches. Oh, he is good with weapons. Hurra! What is he, Jojo? Jojo, it hurts all over. Hey, can I go now? I was pretty going pretty easy on you, so you shouldn't be that messed up. Ugh, damn you. Mm, nope, everything's still functioning, but man, now I'm even more hungry. Let's just forget that little distraction and get over to the bedding center. 
Pato, 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 pato. Wait, the pink and four sanction of the cursor are swing buttons. Move the cursor to the ball and swing by pressing one of those buttons, the pink one. This cursor is called the swing cursor. Move it using the diagonal buttons or the left stick. The smaller area inside the swing cursor are the slugging ranges. You will hit the ball more powerfully if you hit it within a slugging range. Anticipation, anticipate locations indicated by the pink area. While this is only a guess, it still provides a general idea of where the ball will be. Okay. Then press the corresponding button at the right time. Now let's have a try at it yourself. Hit one home run in 30 pitches. Oh, this is gonna suck. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, I get it. Uh, colors, I guess. I don't get it. How does this work? Oh, like this. Oh. Oh, now I get it. Victory! Now I get it! You again, huh? It's not like I want to be here. Good, because starting next month, I'm only giving price for course 3. It's the one with Sawada from the Gigantes. The one hits Homer on it yet. That all puts you in your place. Let's see you prove me wrong, eh? Nice bad thing. Takatsugi Ono. You play baseball back in school? Guess everyone's gotta have something they're good at. Takatsugi-san, come on, don't do this to me. I'm hungry. Let's keep the change. Wasn't hard to figure out what you were gonna do with it. Fucking asshole, bro. Impact timing, foul, batting eye, heat eye. She needs a side story, it costs the swinging, batting skills can be improved to give advantage when taking on challenges. She needs batting skills are improved by various courses at the batting range. If an impact range levels up, the swing cursor is enlarged, making it easier to hit. 
If the impact timing levels up, the window of opportunity for... Ooh, nice. If the fouling skill levels up, the window of opportunity for fouling off pitches is extended. This is useful in situations where Shinda needs to cut pitches. If heat eye levels up, pitches will appear even slower when using the heat eye ability. Betting eye levels up, the pink circle that indicates the ball anticipation trajectory becomes smaller, making it easier to hit. It also improves the precision of the anticipated pitch indicator at the screen bottom right. These skills can be leveled up by playing the various courses at the betting center and by progressing through Shinda's side story. Few current level skills by speaking to the clerk at the blah blah. We'll face old rifles as well as new challengers. Facing them will also hone Shinoda's betting skills. I hit a wall. I'm training, but my betting skills aren't getting any better. Have you tried using better equipment? What's wrong with what I've got? I mean, if you replace your bats, gloves, and cleats with better quality stuff, you might feel like you leveled up a bit, you know? You know the pawn shop on the east side? They sell baseball gear for cheap. Serious? I'll go check it out later. There are three kinds of equipment that can change, bats, gloves, and cleats. Uh, you can change them by speaking to the clerk at the betting center. Initially, Shinoda uses cheap equipment. Better equipment can be bought at the pawn shop or elsewhere and equipped at the betting center to improve Shinoda's betting skills. The pawn shop sells baseball equipment too, huh? Using good gear will draw out a little bit more of my own ability too. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I should check it out if I get my hands on some extra cash. Well, we're pretty fucking broke right now. We're 17. We only have 17 fucking cash, bro. That's the worst. Yo, get a height and all. Ushima, sir. Skeno says and got it. I know me. Ah, sorry. Oh, screw me sideways, Ushijima. I did, but my fucking loan shark bitch ass guy just went by and grabbed my fucking winnings. Moments say over to Ushishama son's place before the stew gets cold. He's on Kumano Boulevard. I can now actually go everywhere, right? Okay, good. Um, tourism guy on Kumano Boulevard and uh, this is South Kumano Boulevard. Okay, we'll start up at North, I guess. Gotta keep an eye out for the tourism guy. Get that shit done. Have you not been paying attention, uh, <laughs> Zillard? This guy is like uh, throwing his cash all over the place. He's indebted to a shit ton of people. When do I pay attention? Well, hopefully sometimes. Oh, I run past it. Oops. No bad guys. If only I could run into some people that would try and kick my ass right now. There's a bad guy. Hosts.
nice, another level up. Will be good. Essence of Sachi Hoko. Near fallen enemy. Did I get anything useful? Not really. Gotta go look for um Where is the guy? This is Boulevard, right? It's the end of Kume Boulevard, this is Kuma. Oh. So it's on this side. Fuck. Akuma. There he is. Do you have a minute? Hello. Okay. Now, where are all the? Kinecho Southwest of first shot at the Ferris wheel Lottery station um, Northeast southwest Of first shot Okay, so first shot is the location. Southwest. Northeast, southwest. Um. Okay. Oh, there. Ching. North of the lottery station, looking at the tower. Where is the lottery station? Kadio <laughs> Ken, Duda Mama, Seiken no Yamcha. How do I know what the lottery station is? Club Eden, Many Nev, Nagoya Famous Bonya. Hmm. This is not really um, doing me any good, bro. Oh, oops. Bro. Wait, didn't I open the lottery tickets thing? Hostess, Training Master, Mini Games. At the sound end of Mid Street. South end of Mid Street. Stugumi. Mid Square. So this, the Nagayo famous Banya. Okay. Oh, 
Oder, 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 oder. No. Here it is, though. Oh, hi. Oh, boy. You sure got a week before payday air about you. Well, here's a strong good fortune for you. One of these price tickets. Yep, it's part of the local community thing that the Chamber of Commons is doing. You're supposed to get some for shopping or dining locally, but get this, a bunch got blown away by a gust of wind. Now you can find them all over town. We spend quite a bit to round some decent prices. Try your luck at the prize wheel. It has to take a turn for the better sometime. Prize wheel, huh? Can't say no to something that comes for free. I'll be happy to uh, take your generosity, I guess. Okay, uh, tower, tower, tower. Oh, this tower. Just north. From here? Can I go down here? Found a prize ticket. Zero of the twenty. I completely forgot that it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. In the game, at least. There's no need to be afraid. This Christmas time. I've had enough Christmas time already. Give me summertime. So that we can go to the beach, beach, welcome to the beach. Mid square north of the little garden path just south of the big TV tower. Oh wait, isn't that this one? You picked up a prize ticket. Intersection of Kumano and Obita. Section of Kumano and Hojincho stand outside Cafe Alps. I know I saw blinkies here. Ah, see? This is oval square, I guess, right? Oval stage. Same thing. So that's one. It 
Let's do... Three. Ice skating. And five, and then we need to go up. Up, up, and away. Can I go higher up? Oh, I can. Is there anything worth checking higher up? Doesn't seem like it, but this looks like a place where I'm eventually gonna kick someone's ass. Circular fenced off area. The west end of mid square where Obita Street ends. Two garden paths on the eastern one, go curvy path. The sunken area go. This is the fishing spot. Uh, this is river fishing. We don't care about river fishing. In the center of mid square are stairs leading down to the sunken area. Go down the northwest one. Got this one. Got this one already as well. Okay. Um, crossing of Kume Boulevard near Hong Jincho Street. Just outside Shinada's apartment. Uh, 
uh, near crossing of Kuma Boulevard near Hongcho Street. This is Hongcho, this is Obita. Crossing here. Kina Ya sign. Yeah, we got that one. This is East Goshiki. Just outside Shinada's apartment. Which is not here. Shinada's apartment is this one, right? Oh, it's Kamiyama Works. Fuck. Uh, blue? Oh, here's Shinada's house. Let me drag this one as well, so that I can at least see where the fuck I'm going. Intersection of Kumano and Obita. Uh, this is Kumano. So... Here, Obita, and the other one is Kumano, Honjiko, stand outside Cafe Alps, which is here. Os. Oh, so good to see you. How are you? I'm uh, working here. Stand outside Cafe Alps. Here. Ovari Ebisu. Okay, go up one more. Oh, I don't even... this one is... I don't know which one this is that I just picked up. Intersection of Kamuno and Obita. Oh, need to literally stand on the intersection. Okay, that's this one done. I just need to get my 20k. I was wondering where the fuck my entrance to where the entrance was to my home. But it was around this corner here. The intersection of Kumano Boulevard and Hojiki Street. Uh yeah, we did that one already, I think. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, you! What's up, man? <laughs> what the fuck is this guy?
Suplexu! Or whatever it was called. During a meteor tackle. Smack that all on the floor. Ooh, bronze plate. Uh, bronze plate is only a hundred, right? Or a thousand. Something like that. Okay, got this one. Uh, from this one... Halfway down Hongcho Street, south side of the street between two green boxes. This is Hongcho, right? I'm a little bit busy here, okay? I don't actually have to press X to pick it up, that's super chill. In the middle of Tsugumi Street behind a big truck. I think we grabbed that one, right? Behind a big truck in the middle of Tsugumi Street. South Tsugumi Street. Oh, this is West Honchiki. So. There. Let's beat this guy up. Gangu Mambur. Absolutely butt slapped here. No duh. Five hundred yen. Whoop whoop. Behind a big truck, right here. Just outside the M store, which is. Here. Must have already picked this one up while running around. I think I did. Then next one is just outside Da Gaia, to the left of the shop. Drug, Hongten, Dagaya. <laughs> Price ticket. Just outside Futomomo Club. Fairly easy path uh, to walk. 
Outside Kinichio Betting Center, to the left of the door. Street corner of Kinichio Betting Center. Okay, we got 27 ticket tickets. Yeah, sure, you already how about you try and push people onto the road? Like the mad lad that you are. Eh. Uh -huh. Was like, why couldn't I see it? But there it is. Okay, now it's time to go and deliver the photos. Get twenty k. Make sure the greedy money asshole doesn't just instantly steal it from me. Took five shots. These were wonderful. Two-handed light weapons, knives, katanas, poles, hammers, kali sticks, guns. GUNS! Oh really? Wish I knew that before. Well, I know now. いらっしゃい。おお、あんたか、品田。牛島さん。牛島さんの人情に涙が出そうっすよね。何言ってるんだ。本当は付け払うまで水一杯飲ませたねえわ。だで、商品券でもええから回収しなかんわ。え何でし
東上会と大海連合って知っとる関東と関西のでかいヤーさんの組でしょそうだそこの幹部の安住と高地って男が今日金営で死んどったとさえ殺されたの事故だといやついてねえその遺体の引き取りやら事故を起こした野郎をとっちめるとかで両方の組織の人間がこの辺をうろついてるらしいわこの辺ヤクザ見ないから好きだったのにな無一文で来るあんたに比べたらやっぱだえお客様だ<笑> I have 20k on my ass though 極道に加え変な男も最近この辺うろついてるらしいわ Some weirdo 変な男帽子を深くかぶってマスクした怪しい男が金営で誰か探しとるらしいわやばいやつかもしれんから変に関わったらいかんわあれマスター今日混んどるね今カウンターアクで座れるがねえ It's fucking kicked out よ風俗レアターの兄さん。Oh, if it ain't the Sultan of Smut himself. 確か、警備会社の大野さんでしたっけあんたが出しゃばってくれたおかげで、わしの顔に穴が開いてまったかね。どうしてくれるのそれは大変ですね。ジュースがほっぺから漏れるでしょ。たけこの怒り、どこにぶつけたらいいか教えてしょうそうだなバッティングセンターなんてどうでしょうあれ結構いいストレス発散になりますよふざけとんのかふざけてないよふざけとるかや You're fucking with me! 大体さ逆恨みにも程があるんじゃない何あんた最初からあのバットが偽物だって知ってたんでしょ何言っとるんだおめえ分かりやすい動揺しちゃって最初から日々か何か入れといた偽物とすり替えて鳥山さんに運ばせたんですよねわけわからんこと言っとるとうさばらしてなくマジでいかんぜ図星か俺が今まで何百本割れたバット見てきたと思ってんだよ落としたくらいであんな割れ方するはずないんだよ。鳥山さんにわざと破損させて弁償させた上に、自分たちでお宝バットをせしめようって悪だくみでもしてたんじゃないのそこまで見当ついとるんだったら、まあいい、消してるあれ名古屋組に勝ち込みさせるんじゃないのこれくせえなクソだけ Shit's personal, dickhead! Fucking hear you scream in pain! I still didn't get that ability yet, did I? Yeah. 
de douce. I'm gonna get your ass. Count on it. Run day. You know what? I'm just gonna go home. Uh, no, we're not. Let's see, where is Tatsuya son? Head back to your apartment. On the way, you'll stumble on to Tatsuya. We're gonna do Tatsuya shit ASAP, actually. If we see him. There he is. Now that I know that I don't actually have to eat something. What's with that guy? He doesn't look so good. What am I going to do? I feel like I'm in a minefield. I don't want to take another step. Looking kind of green. Is something wrong, huh? I look green. Well, I don't know if. I'm not sure what's that supposed to mean, but I guess you're okay, so carry on. No, wait. You live around here, don't you? I do, but why do you ask? I'm Tatsuya. The celebrity chef, I have my own TV show. Ring any bells? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, okay, it rings bells. What, really? You're someone famous? Well, I wouldn't say famous, but I guess I am on TV. How cool is that? Then again, I don't watch much TV, so I actually have no idea how cool that is. Also wondering what a famous chef would possibly want with me. Right about that. I am doing a show where I go around helping different eateries around Japan by coming up with new twists on local dishes. Um. Oh yeah, I already read the entire thing. I've been trying places that might give me some ideas, but Kinecho's food is so different from what I'm used to. Don't know where to start. Different. Ah, uh, you must mean stuff like super spicy shave ice or red bean paste paste. Yes, exactly. I've been quite a sh it's been quite a shock. Everywhere I go, one strange dish after another. Oh, come on now. Not everywhere. Sure, there are places like that, but they're pretty rare. I beg to differ. No matter who I ask on the street, they steer me towards that kind of place. Really? What exactly did you ask them? I said, do you know anywhere that specializes in food unique to this area? There's your problem. If someone asked me that, I'd recommend something a little odd too. Maybe I should rephrase that and ask for places with tasty local dishes that aren't so strange. I'm kind of broke right now, so pricey places are out, but I do know some reasonable ones. Really? Do tell. Make it worth your while. Serious? All I have to do is tell you about them? Count me in. Great, thanks. We have a win-win situation on our hand then. So what exactly are we talking about here on terms of compensation? Good question. I'll make it worth your while by drumroll, please. Oh, uh, fine. Well, I'll give you Tatsuya special advice. It'll make your meals that much more enjoyable. Special advice? And what? How to make your life better without money. With the right attitude, you can change your daily meals into something so much better. Right. Later, pal. No, please wait. Don't be like that. If you say you're going to make it worth my while, you're going to have to be do better than giving me advice, you quack. You said you'd help. Uh, count me in. Those were your exact words. Uh, fine, fine. I'm a man of my word. Really? Great, thanks so much. But you better keep your word too and make it worth my while. Don't worry, I got you covered, buddy. Well, I'll be waiting. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Fucking smart. Okay, we got three restaurants to visit. Kabuyara, Kaburaya, which is right there. The Daruma, which is right there. And then this one, the Seike no Yamachan. And we don't actually have to eat at these places, so with my HP not completely filled up... We just walk into these places. The last restaurant we enter will have to uh, go eat something because I don't want to, you know, be low on HP. Irashai, daft beer. 
Sorry, I forgot something. This is gonna be a big city to do things with, and I'm gonna have to buy a shit ton of resource again. <sighs> Gang members. Ooh, toughness C. Free healing item! Yay! Yatta the Aranzu! Oh, all these places have alcohol. That is super annoying. More alcohol. By the end of this, I'm going to be an alcoholic. Well, at least we figured out the strategy for everything. So it's better something than nothing. At least when it comes to the drinks, foods can still do yeah. be done a little bit different. We can now also max out our HP and other things, so it's also good. If anything, that's probably one of the more important yeah. things. Seeing how low uh, Sheena does, HP actually is. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, then we're going to Cafe Alps real quick. We're gonna deliver all the stupid ass tickets. Iron plate. The same. Wait, is that Tatsuya? Welcome to Tatsuya's 3 Minute Kitchen Hack. Today we are coming to you from Kinecho, Nagoya. This show is all about having celebrity chef Tatsuya help new and struggling eateries across Japan by coming up with new dishes. In this episode, we'll be speaking with the manager of Cafe Alps, Kinecho, about his new location's difficulty in attracting customers. Please tell us more about your situation. Yes, well, Cafe Alps is a, a ver venerable coffee shop. It's got to start in Kamarucho, Tokyo, but a new CEO was recently appointed. He's pretty ambitious and wants to expand across Japan. He started with Suki Mino, and now there is Kinecho location too. Unfortunately, business hasn't been very good, but if we had a local dish that the people in Kinecho liked, maybe we could win over more customers. I see. So you want to attract more customers at your Kinecho shop by offering a local dish. Well, Tatsuya-san, let's hear what Hi. you came up with. Okay, wait for it. I'm calling my new dish Bolognese Anka Ke... Anka... K spaghetti with hacho miso. You've done it again, Tatsuya-san. Could you tell us a little more about your new creation? Sure. Nagoya is known for its miso and ankake spaghetti, so I thought, why not combine the two for a bit of fusion magic? I use ground chicken and hacho miso to create a bolognese-style ankake sauce. I also add a burdock to subtly ramp up the flavor factor. Then there's also the flavorful, the flavorful heat of the aged broad bean chili paste I add, along with domestic beef fat and to make it even, along with domestic beef fat to make it even richer. That sounds amazing. The people in Nagoya are going to eat that up literally. How did you ever come up with such a masterpiece? Well, I might never have if it weren't for the eateries a certain someone introduced me to. And there you have it, another hit this, another hit dish courtesy of Tatsuya-san. Bolognese Ankake Spaghetti with Hacho Miso is now available anytime right here. We hope our viewers will come give it a try. Until next time, a bon appétit. And we're going right in. Kupas. Okay, so this is actually the only new thing that I unlock, which is good, I guess. Saves me time. Arigato. Okay, now let's go do the tickets and then head into the new next story part. No ma, no ma, no money. <laughs> That's the guy that wants to fight me, doesn't he? Walk around him. Oh, there are a lot of guys that want to fight me. Spin the wheel!
green. Pocket tissue! Oh no! Ooh, is that so far? Is that... I can't believe it. Gravity converter! You got prize number two. Another green, more tissues. Uh, da, da. No, not another green one. Stop giving me pocket tissues, game. The guy is still shouting at me while I'm uh, doing my spin thing. Oh, like 10? Then save. Oh, I can stop it, good. Uh, there's save point like right there. Let me actually go and save. I can pick up. Mystery liquid bottle. Okay, so the only thing that we really want is the grand prize, which is a silver. Everything else is not necessary. Let's 
blue. Or price. You got lighter fuel. I mean, I can also do it differently and just spend everything that I have right now and wait until, like, the end. To, uh... That's where I needed to buy a bunch of stuff and get more tickets anyways. Because we're gonna have to eat at every place anyways. And buy a lot of stuff. Chances of getting anything is so low, though. I keep getting pook tissues. If only the pook tissues were useful for something. Start your hacks. Hacks! Cheaters! Oh, this is gonna be something, guys. This is gonna take forever. In the... What? 30? Tickets I had. We only pulled one or two items. The second place gravity converter and the third place later oil. At least give me a coupon for food or something. It's better than tissues. Oh, Ikai. Who's 
yelling at me. Can't tell. Six crazy bro. <laughs> AB Su Kinecho Kamiyama works. M store. That's the only M store? Jesus. Well, let's roll. Uh, he actually followed me all the way here. I think I can use. seen this one uh, in a while. Perfect. Ooh, rich guy. Rich guy, you give money. M money. Yordi needs money. Platinum plate. A oh, gold plate is fine as well. Shouldn't complain about that one. Is that another rich guy? Is that another one? Never run into so many rich guys at the same time. <laughs> Only gold. But something is better than nothing, right? Yes, 
Except Le Giftors. Sure, we'll grab this one. Wait, do I need to read the text before I can actually grab it? That would be fucking no. Frozen tuna! Just to be safe. Safe? Safe. There's snowman hammer. You don't have enough f weapon skill to... Okay, at least we got the frozen hammer man. Man hammer thingy. It's better than nothing. Did we get the fish thing from uh, completing the fish? Who's shouting at me? I really can't tell. When they start shouting at me and I'm like, where the fuck is it coming from? This guy's ass. Boss. Give me a beer, bro. And uh, give me uh, the seafood tartar and you can't. Bugwe! Yeah! Okay. Didn't even give me a price ticket. What a bunch of buttholes.誰だよあんた。金栄町で、ある男を探してる。虫島のマスターが言ってた人か、あんた。町の人たちも不気味がってるぜ。平和な金栄に揉め事持ってこないだよね。俺が探している男、一見この町に溶け込んで暮らしている
Ina da side stories, sub stories. Six eight ninety ninety seven Tatsua Shinada Omega Jugon and Mine, Sweet Ocean of Cotinata. Cucayura no Sayonara Home. Did he get set up or something? Sono Sinso, Shirabetoshi. その時のお前のホームランボールだ。誰なんだ、あんた。まだ近いところにおるはずだ。探せ。返事は後日聞こう。もうちょっと待てよ。これどうして待ってね。さよならホームランの真相ってなんだよ。あれは実力で打ったんだ。真相なんて何もねえよ。That's not what he meant. He meant, why did it cost you everything? Takasugi-san, today is it? Calm down, please. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm not going to wear a shirt. You said you were talking about the shirt. 15年前のサヨナラホームランに真相なんてそんなもんはないよじゃあなぜあのホームランの翌日シナダタツオはサイン島と野球賭博の容疑をかけられ球界を永久追放になったんだ、ま、あれがお前にとってプロ野球一軍初の打席そして最後の打席になった帰ってくれ これは興味本位ではなく仕事の依頼だ。15年前の真相を当事者のお前に調べてもらう。全ての真相が明らかになれば、この新しいケースの中身を報酬として払う。金額はお前が受け取ることのできなかった契約年俸と同じだけの額。
お邪魔しますちょっと高杉さんこのややこしい状況をさらにかき乱さないでくださいよなお前俺にそんなこと言えた身分か借金とこれとは無関係でしょうあーそうあーそうじゃあ借金は指の保険金で返済っていうことでいいなはとりあえず今日は指一本潰すけど病院にはプレス機でって言うんだぞな何言ってんすか社員でもないのに労災なんて降りるわけないでしょうなにこれ昨日お前が宛名書いた領収書にカーボンを挟んで仕込んどいた。Love copy paper. 就職おめでとうちょ。ちょっと待ってくださいよ。ちょっとだろうがたくさんだろうがいくら待っても付属ライターに返済なんてできないだろう。No, <笑>他に稼げる仕事でもあるっていうなら話は変わるがな。あのホームランは俺が実力で打ったものだ東京ギガンツの沢田が6球続けたカーブの後キャッチャーのサインを無視してまさかのストレート俺がそれを完璧に捉えただけだサインを盗むなんてことはしてなかったサインを盗むおおいわゆるサイントってやつかではなぜ球界を追放になった野球賭博の容疑は晴れなかったからだ賭博は本当にやってたやってないよそれは誰かに容疑をかけられたということだ知らないよ俺みたいな無名の二軍上がりを追放して誰が得すんだよ得をした人間がどこかにいるはずだ俺はその人間が誰か知りたい探し出せるのは当事者のお前以外にはいない仮にこいつをはめた人間がいたとしてそいつを特定したら絶対に金はくれるんだろうな約束は守るこれは俺の連絡先と当座の金だこの仕事確かにお前に依頼したからなこの人が立ち会いにいる了解了解じゃあ連絡する Now that I'll be in touch suck, man. しかしなまさかあん時の選手がお前だったとはな当時はかなりニュースになったもんなだから違うっていうならお前をはめたやつを探し出せよ真相を知ることができて借金完済するチャンスやねんか高杉さん悪いけど少し考えさせてください何言ってんだよもう引き受けちまったんだお前はやるしかねえんだよ断るならお前の指でそういうフィンガーズとにかく考えさせてほしいいいだろうでもこれだけは忘れるなよ。俺から逃げようなんて無理だからな。If you try to run, I'll catch you. I was wondering why the fuck he suddenly did this as a job. Gotta get out of this funk. Maybe I'll go out. Just go do、uh, what they wanted you to do, bro. 
Yardy yardy does he. Hello, my friends all over the world. I have a request for you today lately. I have been in, haven't been able to blah, 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 blah. Wrong person. I guess I'll look into it when I have the time. Okay, so first side stories, then training, then... Bleep, bloop, blah, blah, blah. I also need to grab the revelations. Enhanced dolly attack. Use a blue wheeled cart. Be very careful because they break in a couple of hits and if you get punched and drop it, it will break and won't count towards the rev. It's best to take out the leader first so they... All scared, then pick it up and swinging at the remainders. In Kamarucha, there's one. And uh, there's also one west of the Matsuya Tenkichi Street and one west of Nakamichi Street, Club Sega, with the beer keg on it. And fourth at North Millennium Tower with some beer crates on it. This one takes a while, so don't get discouraged if you have going through about 20 cards. Jesus. Desk. Use a desk table, a table desk. You can find some in the very first fight you get to as Nishida, but chances are, uh, if you're here, you've missed that. Fret not. The Street Fight GP in the Colosseum has the desk for your smacking pleasure. Okay, uh, I think I'm just gonna keep those until we like get to those specific fights in the GP. Except for the Dolly one, which is in Camarucho, anyways. Hey, Tatsuo Shinada, right? Oh, yeah, and you are. <laughs> of course, you'd forget. 20 years is a long time. Not sure I follow. You really don't remember your teammate from high school? Your old training buddy? Wait, you played for West Camaro High? Damn straight, I was there until we were juniors. The name Shirakawa ring any bells? Shirakawa, holy cow, it's been forever. What coincidence running into you like this? Coincidence, hardly. I've been looking for you all this time. I finally got word that you might be in Nagoya. Wasn't easy tracking your ass down. Is there a reason you came to see me? Yeah, revenge. Don't tell me you forgot what happened. Uh, is this about that game in our second year? Bingo, it was the summer regional final, the qualifier for us to go to nationals at Koshian Stadium. What's wrong? Why don't you open your mouth and say something? I know I'm not speaking gib gibberish here. No, I know you're not. Then what? You rather forget what you did, or maybe you can't even stand the thought of it? Well, allow me to jog your memory. The game that everything rode on was locked in a pitcher's duel. Me... The Ace of West Camaro versus Akamatsu, a monster who could throw at 150 kilometers an hour. It was the bottom of the night, ninth, score tied at zero. We had two outs, but also runners on second and third. It was a perfect setup for you to bang out a walk-off home run. I guess even a beast like Akamatsu must have been nervous. What, with a ticket to Kojin on the line? He ended up giving away three balls and no strikes. On his fourth pitch, he deliberately threw fastball outside the strike zone. His reasoning was simple. First base was open. So instead of giving the cleanup hitter his big chance, it was safe to walk you instead. You could have easily walked the first, but no. You just had to swing at that wild pitch, which became a pop fly that went right into the infielder's glove. <sighs> 
Not a lot of cost to game into to go into extra innings, but at the top of the tenth, their batter ran me ragged. We got destroyed. You quit the team and the day after and even left the school. Heard it was cause you blew out your shoulder. My shoulder was wrecked alright, but that's not why I quit. It was because I was betrayed by the guy I trusted the most. You mean, yeah, you. Shirakawa. After many dream after my dreams of baseball went spiraling down the drain, I joined a small printing company the year after I watched you play at Koshin on TV. The entire time I never stopped wondering why you went for that wild pitch instead of taking the walk. It took a couple of years, but I finally got my answer. When you bet it's for the bigger leagues, you're one and the only time. What are you getting at, Shirakawa? I'm saying you're the kind of scum who puts himself ahead of the team. That's only that only your own victory matters. How could you say that? Everyone knew Akamatsu was the tournament's top pitcher. I mean, you couldn't get a single hit off him the entire game. But you wanted to prove yourself, didn't you? That you were good enough to hit one of Akamatsu's pitches. That you were better than everyone else. Why else would you swing an outside pitch on a three on nothing count, like a fucking amateur? If only you had walked, we'd have been set for a game-winning hit, but there was no guarantee you'd get another chance to bet, so you went ahead and blew it. It's not true. I read the pitch to the best of my abilities, and I went for it because I was sure I could win it for the team. But at the time, I simply didn't have what it took to get a hit off Akamatsu. That's all it was, man. Don't feed me that crap. You can say any damn thing you want in retrospect, but that doesn't change what you did. You talk like it was some miscalculation, but I, but I know better. The only reason you pulled that stunt back then was to satisfy your own ego, and I'm going to prove it to you. How? By making you relive Akamatsu's pitching from 20 years ago. That's how, Shinada. That's crazy talk. You yourself said you didn't have what it took at the time. That means you think you could pull it off now, right? Hold on, Shirakawa, are you seriously asking me to go up against Akamatsu from back in our high school heyday? I'd like, need a time machine for that. No, dumbass. I'll be doing the pitching. I can replicate Akamatsu's style flawlessly. What about your shoulder? To hell with that. Point is, if I can hit what I... If you can hit what I throw, I'll know you had the skills and chalk it all up to harmless error. But if you choke, that means you were shit to begin with. It'll be proof that you robbed me of baseball for your own pride, and I will make you pay. Is this what drove you to search me for all these years? To figure out what was going on in my head? Okay then, if that's what'll make you happy, I'll gladly hit off, hit you off, hit off you, hit you off, dubba-dub-doo. Dubba -dub -dub -dub. You really want to settle this in a crapped out betting center? Doesn't matter, the lady at the desk told me you're a regular here, and that's true. Must be hard clinging onto your dead at dead baseball dreams. It's not what it this is. Whatever, this is how we'll do it. Our showdown will go for ten pitches. Hit a homer of one of them and I'll uh, call the win. If you fail, you'll be sorry you did. Understood. The Kadimashta. <clears throat> Ten pitches, one home run. You can't touch this, Shinada. Wow, oh, angry face. Talk about heat, bro. Oh, this is really rough. I should have pressed square there. X there. This is actually kind of tough, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, got him. 
boxes. Yo, Yordi Taro. Yo, Yordi Taro. There, home run in the bag. Thought you threw hard despite you, your busted shoulder, but that was nowhere near 150 kilometers an hour. Wasn't even close to Akamatsu. Can't argue with that. I'm pretty surprised myself. I didn't think my pitching got this bad. Sure, God, look, all I need is a little time and I can restage that duel. I promise. Did you not just see what happened? There's no way you can pull that off. I will pull it off, and when I do, I will expose you for the fraud you are. Don't you dare think this over. You really can't shake the past, can you? You think you're going, Shirakawa? Weren't you gonna smash Shinada into a bloody pulp? Who the fuck is this uh, butthole? Kurosaki. Were you watching this whole time? Kurosaki has the same Kurosaki from high school? Glad you remember. I hope you know, my life's been complete shit ever since that fucking game. Man, what's up with today? I'm practically raining old teammates up in here. Shina, it was Kurosaki who told me where I could find you. Everyone knew Shirakawa hated you. Honestly, thought he was out to take your life, but I guess he couldn't sack up. Drop it. I'll deal with him on my own way. Shh, what a tool. No, that would be disrespectful. Tools are useful. Oh, so suddenly you hate my guts too? Why? What I ever do to you? And how do you know where I live? Listen to all these goddamn questions. What are you, a child? You completely fucked my job, smart guy. I did what? Home run king record setting bat. I was gonna shake down this stupid security guard and sell that shit for good money. The job itself ain't glamorous, but it took time and effort to set it up, you know. I had to pay off the other security staff and everything. Wait a minute, you were behind the fake bat extortion? Surprised? Should have seen the look on my face when I found out I got boned by a washed up heck of a ball player who interviews whores for a living. Huh, so you rallied Shirakawa to get back at me? What's wrong with you, man? What made you go so bad? Simple. I'm what you call a broker. Got something to do with baseball? Boom, I can turn it into big bucks. Lucky for me, this town has a pro team and plenty of baseball fanatics. There's no shortage for suckers, believe me. How could you stoop so low? Now then, you owe me for one wrecked bat heist. I'll make you pay for that soon enough. You just wait. What a bunch of dickheads. 500 experience points. Batting I. Been a long time, Shinada, older man, huh? Who are you, old fella? Who are you calling old fella? Looks like you haven't matured much since junior high. Junior high, wait, are you? You were a real hood as student. Wasn't it summer camp in your second year when you pulled that stunt in the boys' restroom? Wow, okay, I remember. You were my mentor in junior high, Coach Igarashi. <laughs> Has it been 20 years since you graduated? I guess it was. You trained me quite a lot back then, and the training was always something bizarre. You made me nap all day once, while everyone else on the team was sweating it out under the sun. I slept in the shade all day long. Is that really what happened? I don't recall that. You had me do vocal training on the roof too. You even made me clean your bathroom ones with a toothbrush. Oh yeah, that I remember. <laughs> then there was that one time you made me wax your car over and over and then you admitted that wouldn't help me at all. Oh, that was hilarious, wasn't it? <laughs> I got that idea from a movie. It wasn't hilarious to me. I remember being pretty mad about that. By the way, coach, what are you doing here? I thought you lived in Tokyo. Almost right after you kids gradua graduated, an acquaintance got me a job coaching high school ball over here. Oh, is that right? What a coincidence. Yep. Of course, I'm retired now. Every day starting, every day starting to feel the same, if you ask me. I totally had no idea. Glad to see you were looking well. Yeah. You're not looking bad yourself. I heard you left the big leagues long ago, but the way you're built, I can tell you haven't lost your passion. 
By the way, you're not in any trouble, are you? You seem to be squabbling with that guy from earlier. You're having a duel over baseball, as I understand it. You saw that? Uh, let's see. Basically, he's in high school, high school teammate who I guess decided he has some access to grind. I see. Think you can beat him? Oh, definitely. Though he did used to be a pretty good pitcher, and his determination to beat me is off the charts. So I don't think victory is going to come easy. Hmm. So that's how it is. All right. How about this? Would you like me to train you again? Come again? What, is my training not good enough for you? Oh, no. It's not that. In fact, your training was what got me to the pros. And there should be no issue, right? It just seems the training you've done on your own just hasn't been enough. Do you know why? Because it's impossible to improve on things you haven't noticed about yourself. Kind of like correcting a bad habit. Yep. At present, you only have a subjective awareness of yourself as a batter. That is very that is a very dangerous thing. Say, if a pitcher exploits a weakness you're not aware of, it'll all be over for you. To prevent that, I can objectively identify and train the areas in which you're lacking. Like I did when you were in junior high, Sprout. You'd do that for me? Yeah, you see, ever since I retired, I've been itching to work with young talent again. Don't worry, I won't ask for a training fee. Hmm. It's music to my ears. Then yes, please! Broke as ever, I assume. Well, let's just get on with your training. You need to regain your instincts and properly assess your showdown. If he, But if you train like I tell you, victory will be yours. Sounds good to me, coach. Very good. Well, start with some training to sharpen your dynamic visual actuity. What's the plan? Go fishing in mid-square. You want me to catch a fish? Seriously? Did I stutter? Now, be sure to concentrate on the water flow. Assert the subtle movement of the float and reel in your prey at the right time. When batting, one carefully determines the motion of the pitch and swings at the right moment. Same concept. Okay. That's starting to make s more sense. All right, coach. I'll believe in you. Good. Let go fishing. What you catch doesn't matter. Anything will do. Loitering around here is a drag, so I'm going back to a bar I found. It's right here. A bar called First Shot. Once you're done fishing, come see me. Knowing you, I know I wouldn't be surprised if you were too broke to buy bait, so here. Special worm. Right then, don't keep me waiting too long. He just gives me free bait. I was about to go buy bait. Mid-square, the big park in the east. Let's see what I can fish up. Just a moment, young man. Hmm? I was fishing just now, wasn't that Shirakawa? Does he have some sort of bone with you to pick? He keeps coming by and hounding me for information. Sounds about right. Finally agreed to leave something on the bulletin board and get on out of here. If you want to see the bulletin board, it's right here waiting for you. All you have to do is ask. Okay, I'll make sure to check in with you whenever I'm here. Fierce rifles and tough opponents, all of them accessible via the bulletin board. Simply speak with the batting center attendant. Select your matchup and get slug in. Proving your battle abilities will make it easier to hit the ball, giving you an advantage in the batter's box. You can improve your betting abilities by winning against rifles or practicing on the course at the betting center. Little wager. Opponent wanted. Okay, so is this um, the intermediate? Let's do the beginner course. Beginner, high pitches, low pitches, outside pitches. What, high pitches, I guess? Oh, maybe I should have gone for low pitches, actually. Ah, uh, fuck it. This way I can train my pitches. 400 points to clear. Come run! Hmm. Well, at least it's a hit. Timing too soon? Hitto!
Valu. Another foul. I feel like that one should have actually just hit the home run, right? Four hundred and thirty. Toughness light. Range. Impact timing. Foul. Batting eye. Completion list. Mini games. Eat eye only course. Sawada course, mission course. Interesting. And I um Pwn wanted, Pwn wanted anyone, please accept my challenge. Wonder what this is about. Uh, excuse me, you there. Yes, you. Hmm? How diggity dog, it is you. Boy, I've been looking for you, looking all over for you, and you are... Oh, wait. Do I owe you money? Sorry, but I'm all tapped out for the moment. Pardon. Uh, what's all this about money? I don't recall lending you anything. Oh, for real? Then who are you? My name is Takeshita. I've seen you bet here before. And let me tell you, you're a monster in disguise. Oh, uh, thank you. I've been pitching since I was a kid, see... I got a pretty mean throw, if I do say so myself, so I'm wondering if I can challenge you. Challenge me, as in try to hit my pitches? Yep, that's it. This pitches machine's got nothing on me, so you'd better not underestimate me. Well, that's nice, but I'll pass. Huh, why? Well, what's in it for me? Well, I can throw better than a machine, and I'll even do it for free. I can throw 100 pitches your way. Nope, don't have that kind of time. Well, how about 50? I'm not feeling it. 10. How about 10? I'm sure you can do 10 pitches. I said no! Why on earth would you be coming to betting center then? For gift certi- <sighs> Look, it's none of your business, okay? I see. You're a bounty hunter batter. Very well. If you can get a hit off me, I'll give you a reward. A reward? Like what? Uh, well, be something spectacular, I can assure you. Please. If you can get one hit off me in 10 pitches, you win. That's all you need to do, okay? Alright, you better make good on that prize, though. That's what I want to hear. Damn, I need square. Don't get it. How did you do that so easily? It's like you read my every move. I'm a terrible pitcher. His pitching is really not that great, but he doesn't have to get so down on himself. Well, I felt your pitching was stellar. Maybe I just got lucky. You think so? Yeah, like you said, these pitching machines got nothing on you. Awesome. I knew it. My pitching is special. Well, bye and thank you. Hey, not so fast. Where's my spectacular reward? Oh, um, how's this? <laughs> Asshole. You got pocket issues. What's spectacular about this? I already got 26 of these. 
Okay, I have to go. Please let me challenge you again. Hell no. Kashunk. Huh? What's the big idea taking my picture like that? Wicked mystery batter appears at the batting center. Challenge is wanted. Share if you like this content. Hey, are you listening? Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to ignore. I am Kotetsu, the blogger. You blog on that flip phone? Sure do. I blog about basically anything baseball. Got me some mad page views, my boy. Okay, so what makes a blogger take a photo of me? Unwarranted, might I add? Because your batting is supernatural, man. I wanted everyone to know, so... Naturally, I snapped the sick still life and posted you up online. Wait, my face is on the internet now? You gotta be kidding me! Not cool, man! What? I don't see any problem. It's not costing you anything. I might even compensate you someday. Look, you can't just... Authentically, a lot of big baseball people read my blog. You may be getting challenges from some of them soon. Oh, come on. That just sounds like a pain in the ass. Goodness, would you look at the time? Gotta run! See you at the cages again! What is with that guy? I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> okay, let's head outside. You can't be serious. マジか。さっき街頭テレビで言ってました。よりによって藤田かよ。まあ、俺もビビりましたけど、それにしてもあいつまだ監督やってたんですね。終わった。来シーズン終わった。ギガンツだったんだよ、もう。え、ギガンツ
This is super annoying. I seriously hope that the higher our skill comp gets, the better our uh, sight gets where the fucking ball goes. Because <laughs> right now I can't tell shit from my ankle. That's how it's done. Shinada, that was crazy. You slaughtered that poor ball. How do you even do that? What's the secret? Secret? Hmm, how should I put it? Okay, so the way you grip the bat and swing, that's honestly up to whatever you like, really. I guess you can say there are three major things you have to do. One, keep your eyes on the ball. Two, perf affect your impact timing. And three, try to hit the ball with the bat's sweet spot. The sweet spot, that? Where is it? Well, that's kind of tricky to answer. Come think of it. Think of it this way. There's a line right down the middle of the bat. You can hit a pitch on that line. That would be the sweet spot. Okay, got it. Sweet spot's in the center of the bat. That sounds about right. After this, you should go up against the machines to get a better feel for it. Keep eyes on the ball. Get the timing. Hit the sweet spot. Shinada, I think I got it. Yeah, it sure sounds like it. If you can get those three things, you'll be hammering home runs in no time. Comes down to practice. I should look into him or something. Can I uh, already do... No. Your attacks grow more powerful while you are DRUNK! You finish off an enemy with a weapon attack. Okay. Go in. Go out. To get the revelation. I think it's broken. Hello, where's my guy, bro? Where the fuck is Pedro practicing? find the dipshit. I guess we'll come back later then. Where's the... Right there in the middle. Yeah. Hey big boy, want to party? I give you a real nice time. Hmm. Is she a foreigner? Seen too many in Nagoya, that's for sure. Come on, don't be shy. Party with me. I make you feel sexy all night. And don't worry, I affordable. Flattered, but I'm also flat broke. Maybe we can party some other time. Oh, you sure? <laughs> oh, I've never seen cough that bad. You're not all right, are you? It, it's the winter over here. Japan's freezing. It's always hot where I'm from. I don't feel too good. Maybe you've caught something standing out here in the cold. You should go home and bed, Kent. I get in trouble if I'm not working. You're in no state to be working. In fact, you should be seeing a doctor. Doctors ask for money. That mean I have to work. Don't you have some medicine? There are too many. I can't read. Excuse me, I can't read label. I can't just stand by and watch. The least I could do is offer her vitamin drink to help her get through the night. Don't I already have an energy drink? These are energy drinks, right? Do they count? Yeah. Big Daddy, let me make it a night to remember. Yeah, I got that, but you keep talking in circles. 
tell me the damn price. You even Japanese? She's At least you got beauty on your side, but brains? Doubt it. Interrupt, but I need to talk to her for a sec, huh? Who said you could cut in line? Didn't you learn to wait your turn in grade school? No, man. It's not it. She got a cold. I just brought her something to help pick her up. You know, this for me? She's sick? Ugh, I'm keeping my hands to myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, I'm just fine. It's not cough on you, do I? Wait, please. Ah, chew. Yeah, you are totally in her weather. I really think you should go home. But if I'm too overbearing, then here. Try drinking this. This might do the trick. Thank you. You're a really good guy. It's no big deal. Just trying to help. My name is Sara. This is the first time a Japanese person treats me so nice. So, want to party? Give you extra sexy service one time offer, and <laughs> that's very sweet of you. But maybe when you're not coughing and sneezing everywhere. By the way, is there some reason you have to keep at it like this? I get in trouble if not working, he get angry, then I get hurt. You mean your employer hits you for taking time off, even when you're sick? That's insane. Hey you! What's the big idea? Huh? You just ran that trick off, you dang goof. We were watching the whole time. They're trying to mess with our business? I'm... I'm sorry, what? They're always watching, making sure we work. You need to go now. Run, be safe. You ain't going anywhere, pal. You owe us for that kind, you dumbass... Your dumbass drove off. But all I did was getting her something to drink. Can't you see she's sick? Well, that cost us business, you shithead. Now shut your pie hole and pay up, or we'll knock your own teeth down your throat. <laughs> it's 15,000 yen to play, so you'll... We'll let you off with a penalty of 30,000. Fork it over before your hospital bill gets worse. How about no? Oh, and she tells me you hit her? That's a terrible way to treat your workers. Fuck off. These bitches owe us for bringing their sorry ass into the country. Till they pay us off, we can do with, we can do with them whatever we want. They're in debt. They lie to us. They say they're good jobs in Japan, but tell us nothing about debt. <sighs> When we come, they take our passports. Now we can no go outside unless it's to work. We never have moments to ourselves. You shut your trap, wrench. If it ain't me love you long time, then you don't want to <laughs> Me don't want to hear it. You people are morally dis uh, deficient. Taking advantage of girls who are just trying to earn a better life. Wait till the cops hear about this. No, they say police are their friends. If we go to them, they send us back. Things only get worse. Nobody here help us. Only way that's possible is if they're bribing the entire force. Uh-huh. Well, I highly doubt that's the case. These clowns don't carry the kind of weight in paper or stature. Hey? Yes, hell we do. <laughs> you might be able to con someone who just got here, but I know better. Our boys in blue would never let you get away with this. In fact, let's give them a call. Shouldn't be a problem. After all, they're buddy-buddy with you, right? Wait, could you not do that? Uh, for the sake of convenience? Well, you guys are a disgrace to men, to Japan, and to homo sapiens in general. Why don't you take your condescending attitude and shove it up your cornhole? <laughs> Better yet, we'll do it for you. Okay, okay, you made your point, just let us go. You know I can do that. Sure you can. We're uh, ready to turn over a new leaf. Start fresh, Pinky Promise. Well, when the cops get here, you can Pinky Promise them. Maybe even cry on their shoulder. After all, what's well, a couple of felonies between friends, right? Shit, we're screwed. <laughs> Appreciate your cooperation. Thanks to you, we finally shut this trafficking ring down. The seven foreign national 
animals involved have been taken into protection. Were all of them tricked into coming to Japan and forced to work on the streets? It would appear so. In some countries, local mobsters are known to approach families in poor areas and promise them stable jobs. And it's a serious ongoing problem. But this time we have solid testimony thanks to the scum you apprehended. Give us a better chance to close the book on this for good. Nice. Thank you so much. Now we all go home. Really, I'm grateful. Please take this. Cherry tree branch. Thank you. You were very brave. You saved everyone. To be honest, all I did was stumble into a lady who I thought could use a crisp vitamin, refreshing vitamin drink. It's about all I could offer someone working through cold. About that. Sorry, but I lie about the cold. What? They told us police were their allies, that police even worse with punishment, so we had no one. I went to find a Japanese person I could trust, someone with a kind heart to listen. So I pretend to be sick, to see if a nice person come along and help me. Ah, so that's what you were up to. <laughs> you sure reeled me in. I hope you're happy with your big catch. I thought everyone in this country was run, but not you. Thank you for being different, for reaching out to me. I not forget when I go back home. Thank you, and goodbye. You're welcome, girl. You're welcome. Okay, real quick. BRB again. Uh, next is all the way on the other side of the street. Hey, Victory Road Qualifier. Dragging essence. Nice. My dragging essence. Von ye hey la 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 ho la la. Oh, hey, excuse me, are you? Tatsuo. Um, it's me, Seto, the scout with the wyverns. Whoa! Is this really Seto's son I'm talking to? Man, the years have not been kind to you. <laughs> Boy, it's been, what, over a dozen years and that's all you have to say? But it's good to see you after all this time. Likewise, you still scout? Yeah, I'm on my way to see a rookie, the kid we picked first overall in the draft. Hmm, yeah. Was that Kuda Shina? He was the star pitcher at uh, Koshian this summer. That's him. We got lucky in the draft lottery. Kuda Shina is a local boy too. So we just need to hash out some details and we'll get him signed. You still haven't lost your hustle. That's great. So uh, what about you? Been hanging in there? Oh, you know me. Actually, I'm a journalist now. I work for an adult magazine. You could even say I have a large reputation in the industry. <laughs> Huh, is that right? Well, guess someone's got to write the words beside the pictures that no one ever reads. So that's what you've got yourself into. You've had it tough, haven't you, ever since that game? I I think I'll be going now. It was good talking to you again. Oh, and you really shouldn't be seen with me, by the way. Don't be stupid. Don't you worry about that. Besides, I was just about to invite you to join me. Don't you feel like meeting our star rookie? If you got the time, that is, really? Kurashina wanted to talk to me, so I'm off to see him. How about I treat you to a drink when we're done? Hey, 
if it's on you, I'd sure appreciate it. But are you sure it's all right for me to tag along? I wouldn't be inviting you if it, wa if it wasn't. You don't need to be shy around Kurashina either. We don't keep secrets from each other. Don't tell me you're going not curious about him. This is Kurashina. This Kurashina kid is the Wyvern's big hope. I won't deny I'm curious. And it's decided. I assume you're coming. Go with Seto. That's an offer I can't turn down. I remember you used to take me out all the time back when I was on the farm. You don't drink as much as you used to, I hope. You should be getting to that age when you learn to n learn a little restraint. <laughs> restraint. Oh, heck no. I can still knock him back like the good old days. Besides, I still got some youth left in me, mostly below the belt. <laughs> um. There he is, Tatsuo, the kids in the school uniform. That's Kurishina. Oh, whoa, that's really him. Hello, Sato-san. Thanks for coming out to see yeah. me. No problem. Till the contract's signed, you're an important negotiation partner. You're just not a rookie after that, of course. <laughs> this fellow here, his name is Tatsuo Shinada, and... Pardon me, Sato-san, but may I speak Hello. first? Come again? All oh, right. Did you say you wanted to discuss something? Sato-san, I'm sorry, but I decided not to sign with the Wyverns after mm -hmm. all. What? Wait a minute here. Why all of a sudden? You said you were looking forward to becoming a Wyvern. I feel terrible about... Terrible about letting the wyverns down after they drafted me first, but I made up my mind. I'm sorry, yeah, Sato-san. Really? But what happened? Has some other team been talking to you? Come on, tell me what this is about. Look, I'm sorry, Sato-san. Your sorry doesn't even begin to suffice an explanation. Besides, what do you intend to do? Are you going to put your career on hold until next year's draft? I can't answer that. You can't. I won't negotiate with the wyverns anymore. I already decided. Now if you excuse me. Kurashina? <sighs> what the hell just happened? Why did he change his mind? It sounds to me like somebody changed his mind for him. Uh, I just don't understand. Kurashina always wants to join his home team. He said it was his dream. Guess that dream got bought and sold. What are you going to do now, yeah. Sato-san? I can't do a damn thing if this is how he's ending negotiations with the team. What can a lowly scout do? I found Kurashina when he was still in middle school. I knew at a glance that the kid had potential. We weren't allowed to contact him, but I kept an eye on his progress. After the draft, I finally got to meet him in person. I told him I'd be keeping track of his playing career over the years. I told him how his pitching was great in a certain game and how unlucky he was in another. He was impressed by that. So you guys have some history. Yes, so how did it come to this? I simply cannot wrap my head around it. Only Kurashina can explain that. He went off to mid-square. Maybe I should go after him. Yeah, let's go after him. While we're here, Coach Igarashi told me to go and fish something up. Looks like there's a good fishing spot here. Fishing, fishing. Special worm. Ikyo. You caught a tortoise. New record. Okay, so we did some fishing. Oh, the guys that were there are gone. Sad. I wanted to beat their asses. There's Kurashina. Who's he got with him? Yo, Kurashina, you done with your little talk? Yes, it's all over. I cut all off, uh, off all negotiations with Wyverns. You did great. Good going. You leave the rest up to me. Don't worry, Kurashina. You made the right choice. Signing with the lost cause like the Wyverns would only stunt your career. Uh, right. What's up with that guy? Is he a scout from another team? It's time to go into stealth mode. 
follow him around a bit. Hey dipshit, turn fuck around. Huh? Got a good reason for snooping around in Kurashina's affairs, huh? Oh, you see, um, who did you say you were? Shut up! We're the ones asking questions, asshole. Let me guess, you're working with the guy who walked off with Kurashina just now. This noisy motherfucker, you better get your ass over here. I get the impression the folk around here won't be able to stomach what's about to go down. And if I say no, simple, we'll cave your face in on the spot. Menacing men. Your mother. Yamada say sayonara. Called military, tell them we found their tank. Seriously, who is this guy? We asking the questions here. Who are you and who was with Kurashina just now? Hell if I know. Want me to rephrase that? Which baseball club do you work for? You're trying to pry Kurashina away from the wyverns, right? Hm. Didn't pry anyone away. He ditched the wyverns of his own free will. Oh, sure. Bet you just wave some cash in his face. I know what you kind do. You're paying him to take the year off, aren't you? That way you can sign him when he re-enters the draft next year. You know, this kind of backdoor deal caused a huge stink before. I didn't think anyone was dumb enough to still try it. So, what kind of money did you have to flash? Not just 10 or 20 million, I bet. The kid dreamed of becoming a wyvern. I bet it took a whole lot of persuading. Maybe even something like 100 million. Come on, what's your problem? Let's go already. Take me to Kurashina, then we need to chat. Or would you rather start round two of getting your ass kicked? Shit. These people really don't talk. <laughs> it's worker and she is. Yeah. Wait, I've seen you. You were the guy who was with Seto san. What? Sorry to butt in, but I need to have a word with Kurashina kun. Could you maybe leave us alone for a while? What's your angle? You think you can just barge on in here and start making demands like you own the place? You're the one who barged in. I don't know which ball club you work for, but you sure play yeah. dirty. Hm. Don't know what you're talking about. From some team, using bribing to temper with the draft pick? That's uh -huh. not right. What the hell are you? Let's just say I used to work with the Wyverns. So, huh? This doesn't concern you, then. Let's just ignore this man and go. Don't worry about it, Kirishina. He's going to disappear. We'll see to it that you never see him again. Even more jackasses. You'll stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Quit Hayarase and Kurashina, unless you want to end up in the emergency room. Not really, but I still need to talk to the guy. What are you, fucking mass <laughs> machocist? I'm telling you to get lost before you beat your ass black and blue and red. <laughs> black and blue and red. Whatever other color was out of broken body. Sorry, but I'm not gonna back down. And by the way, you're really gross. You're really are stupid, aren't you? Amazing. Well, have it your way. Get him, boys. I'm curious what the fuck is actually going on here, though. Kajibara! It's like trash.
Iconizing Sice, Extreme Spice. Where's the fucker? <laughs> Yamane-san? Sorry to make you wait, Kurishina-kun. There's no one bothering us now. Let's have a one-on-one. -on -one. Get away from me, man. Hey, hold on. Are we seriously now running after the kid? Oh shit, this path is annoying. Too many people. He's fast, bro. Stamina isn't that great, though. Give me, please. I never meant for any of this to happen. Save your breath. You need to apologize to set of some, not me. I'm not going to rake you over the coals for accepting a bribe from a different club. Well, it's a choice that literally that's literally life-changing. I don't know how much they offered you, but I can't understand being blinded by cash. Or are you going to tell me everyone's doing these kinds of thing backdoor deals these days? So you still have a blit obligations. You told Sutter Sun was your dream to join Wyverns, didn't you? You have to live up to your word. At least come clean to Sutter Sun and apologize. Sutter Sun was working hard to make your dream come true. I'd say you owe him that much. Understand. If you can forgive me, I will. We still don't know what is actually going on because they were being very uh, <sighs> Sato-san, there's something I need to tell you. Go ahead, Kurishina. Please forgive me, Sato-san. I fell for a bribe from another team. They promised to pay me until next year's draft. That's why they would double the contract amount offered by the Wyverns. That's why I, I can't join the Wyverns, alright? That's what it was, after all. Really sorry, Sato-san. If you could find it in your heart to yeah. forgive me. It's alright, Kurishina. Thank you for being honest with me. The path you choose is up to you. Whichever team you sign with, your talent will make you a star. I guarantee it. And believe me, I've been doing this job for a long time. But make sure you keep training hard over the course of this next year. I'm looking forward to seeing you play once you're in the pros. I know you can do it. You're not any ordinary rookie god. Have confidence in yourself. Why though? Satosan, why do you care so much about me? Isn't it obvious? Because I see your potential. I have been ever since you were in middle school. Someday soon your pitching is going to pack stadiums and drive fans wild. I was the first to see that in you, before anyone else. I don't care if it isn't with the Wyverns, as long as a lifelong fan of, as a lifelong fan of baseball, I look forward to seeing you shine. I still do. <laughs> so you keep moving forward. I'll never stop being your fan. Thank you for waiting, Tatsuo. Well, I promised you a drink, didn't I? <laughs> you sure you're all done here? Yeah, should be. Alright, and I'll be happy to oblige. Take care, Kurashina. Go home before your joints feel the cold. Take good care of yourself. Taking good care of yourself is part of your job as a pro. Wait. God, I must sound stupid, but I was wrong. There's no way I can give up on the dream you shared with me. I know I'm asking a lot after all I did, but may I join the Wyverns? Kurishina, look, I'm asking you, please give me a second chance. I'll do anything to join, to make up for the trouble I caused. Yes, I may be stupid and immature, but I know I can make the Wyverns proud that I'd be right for the team because you're there to support me. But would you look at that? I always known you were a fine judge of character set of son. Flattery will get you nowhere with me, Tatsuo. Don't I know it? Looks like I'll be taking a rain check on that drink tonight. I assume you're gonna be busy. Yeah. I have to get the official contract written up to sign this can't miss rookie. Really? You're still gonna sign me? Kirishina, I can only be this nice to you before you sign. Once you're ours, we'll kick your ass like any other rookie. Yes, sir. And thank you. I promise not to let you down. <laughs> me turning down a free night out? Never thought I'd see the day. You. Hey, you 
win another level up, aim. Let's beat the living shit out of these assholes here. Seems like a good idea. Uh, let's go with this one. Power grab. Oh, mate, yo! Oh, that guy is yelling at me. But I'm not in the mood. We're doing side quests. And there is nobody stopping me. Who's this guy? What's up, bro? Uh, excuse me? You all right there? Uh, I what? That you, Shinada-san? Huh? Oh, I know you. Don't you work part-time at the ed editorial office? Himoji, right? Are you working on a story? No. What story could I possibly be working on? I'm starving, man. Can't move a muscle. We have energy drinks this week. I'm so weak I can't even stand, let alone speak. Whoa. I know you get paid peanuts, but... You had to know you'd end up this way if you didn't eat. I know, I know, but here I am. I have to get you something. Fine, wait here. I'll go get you some grub. I think it's fate that's brought you here, shinoda son. May I make a request? Yeah, what? Well, just in case this happened, I kept this 500 yen coin as my trump card. You should use that earlier. I may be down, but my spirit is pure. My pride won't let me accept charity. Yeah. My pride is what carries me when I was a child and deep into poverty. When when the rich kids would keep the trading cards and throw away the chocolate, I never once picked it up and ate it. Yeah. To accept charity now would be to betray my childhood self. I can't bring myself to do it. You just had to go and inspire me. All right, if it means that much to you, let's hear that favor. Please, buy me the most expensive Nagayo, Nagoya specialty you can with 500 yen. More health can restore the better. And it has to be Nagoyo's specialty, right? Uh, but the more health it restores, the better. I'm supposed to gauge that. Um... I create platinum. <laughs> Figure it out, gah. I can feel my stomach eating itself. Well, you know what they say, hunger is the best seasoning, but damn, why did I have to find out this way? Right, I'll get it. I'll zip back as quick as I can, don't die on me. We say that, but I was kind of planning on, you know what? We'll zip by as quick as I can. Or am I? I think I'm gonna or am I? 
No one's paying attention. What am I going to do? Hmm? Why, if isn't Tachan? Uh, do you know me? Of course I do. It's me, you know, from Sachoko Ramen. Oh, hey, boss man. Haven't seen you in a minute. What's with the sash? You trying to be some sort of politician? That I am. As someone who makes his living in Kiencho, I think it's time I give something back to the community. The recession has taken its toll on all of us. My firm belief is that politicians should consider the plight of um, their local communities. In order for that to happen, someone in a position of power needs to be their voice, so I decide to enter politics. Wow, you're not fooling around, are you? Nice to know someone committed to taking our side. Actually, I don't even know your name. Hmm, suppose not. The name Shozo Matsukane. Uh, like it says on this here sash, please remember to vote for me when the election comes around. Think of it, I haven't been to Sachoko in a while. You sure the shop's gonna be okay while you're out here campaigning? Oh, certainly. I've got a good crew working over there, so my mind is clearer to focus on the election. Got it. I see you're taking the street corner speech approach. Trying to, but everyone just walks right by without second glance. No one stops to listen. Say, Tachan, how about you be a shill for me? Just stand there and listen to my speech. Mm, no, thank you. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Come on, don't be that way. <laughs> I've been trying to rally interest as best as I can, but everyone gives me the cold shoulder. I'm getting pretty discouraged here. That's what a street corner speech is all about, though. People will gather around if you give them something inspiring, perhaps. But remember, I'm no celebrity. You should see how quick these people are to pass me by. I may as well be invisible. Aren't you supposed to raise your voice and show how passionate you are? Maybe bust out a megaphone? That's easier said than done. It feels terrible when no one will give you the time of day. Well, if you're that much if you're that much of nobody, why not get someone big to give you an endorsement speech? That should help gain some traction. Ah, an endorsement speech. That could be a ticket. Good thinking, Tachan. I'll start asking around right now. I need to come back later for this one anyways, so I might as well just uh, go to the store. Tubos, iron plate, lame. Let's see, was there a restaurant nearby? Yeah, on that street up there. Good spot to heal up a little bit. Or one of these cocksuckers. Soro no knees! Fuck! Matsuoka! Oh, 
you, you fuckers. I don't want to lose my bonus. for help. The grind is... go in, I guess. Oh, Lord. oh I already lose all my fucking buffs because of the timing. Shite. The grind is going, Kalmar. How are you doing? By the way, question. Does this motherfucker become any better in fighting? Because he sucks ass. Did I just get... Did I just aggro another dickhole? Bart wasn't great, his fighting sucks, but he's got the golden pistol straight away. When I got once I got it. Sag. Kidoi. Cringe. All the things. Irashaimasen. The meteor tackle got really annoying when it didn't want, when I didn't want to use up heat. Hey, we got a free price ticket. <laughs> Yeah, I can understand that. And his like when he's using this the 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 weapon it's not that much better either. It's highly disappointing. Wait, Tachan? Miyu? Who the fuck is Miyu? Huh? Oh hey Miyu chan, how's it going? Haven't seen you since that oracle. I think it was. If I had to be honest, I say I'm kinda of run down. Are you done for the day? You're the top draw at your parlor, so uh, they must keep you busy. Hmm. It's not exactly it, but I have started working extra shifts. It's kind of wearing me out. That's not good. Want me to introduce you to a good uh, acupuncture guy? Hmm. I just might take you up on that sometime. Anyway, I have to go. I'm meeting someone right now. Do I have to follow her right now? Can I like enter? He's one to buff with up with items and stuff. Holy shit! Whoa, she can't even stand. Is she really okay? Okay, listen. Before I actually go do that, let me buy the thing that I need for the precious meal. Misu Katsu lunch set. Misu Katsu Lanchu Set to This one. Hey, free price ticket. I'm saving them up so that I can uh, grind for the pearl again with save this time. Or, well, this time, next time. Hey, Miu-chan, are you okay? Oh, Tachan, I feel all lightheaded. How many hours are you working? You should talk to your manager and get them come back. The parlor is making me work. I asked for extra shifts. Did something happen? My new boyfriend, he owes money. I want to help him out, so I start working extra. I think I overdid, though. I see. Your boyfriend's a lucky guy. He knows I work at the massage par parlor. But he doesn't judge me for that. He even said he'd settle down with me once he's out of debt. Then I can quit working like this. Maybe I can even be an ordinary wife mm. one day. 
That'd be nice. Listen, why don't you go back to the parlor and take a load off your feet? At least until you can walk home. But I promised to meet my boyfriend. He has a loan payment due today and I need to get him the money. Why don't you get him to come get it? Please, I don't want him coming around there. You can understand that, can't you? You said he wouldn't judge. You know what? Never mind. Why don't I just deliver it for you? Hmm. Well, okay. I think I can trust you, Tachan. If you really don't mind, please take this to him. Here's the money and this photo, so you know what he looks like. Ah. So this is the lucky guy, huh? can say he's bad looking. Yuji should be waiting for me around the TV tower. Yuji, Roger that. I'll go find him. Guess Yuji Kun isn't here yet. Oh wait, is that him? Ano. Are you Yuji Kun? Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm here on behalf of Miu-chan. She isn't feeling too hot today, so she asked me to bring this money over to you. Oh yeah, sweet. That's great. Okay. I guess that's that. Hey. Yeah, you saved my ass. Hold on, aren't you gonna ask about Miu-chan? She's too sick to even make it out to see you, you know? Yeah, but she's tough old Bert, so to speak. I'm sure she's holding up. I'll send her an email or something. Anyway, later. Is that guy really Miu-chan's boyfriend? This is not the kind of behavior I expected. There you are, Yuji. Did you finish up your little errand? <gasps> what a dick! Yeah, all good now. Let's go and drink up a storm. <laughs> what the? Oi! Oi! What do you think you're doing? You're still hanging around? Who's that girl? Don't tell me you're cheating on Miu-chan. What's with this guy, Yuji? Nothing. Let's ditch this loser. Miu-chan's slaving away to help pay off your debts, or did you forget? You promised you were going to settle down with her? <laughs> It'll never happen because Yuji is marrying me. Who'd marry some bimbo who works at a massage parlor? I see what's going on here. So this girl here is on the two. Two of you are just using Miu for her money. No, this isn't fair to Miu-chan, but you'd better not tell her. You know, it'd break her little uh -huh. heart. Yeah, and cut off your cash flow. Ooh. You're starting to get on my nerves, man. Wants me to chop your ass up? I may not look it, but I can hold my own in brawl because I know karate. Even busting out a simple kata routine gets Miu-chan super wet. You don't say. Then maybe if I give you good ass kicking, Miu-chan will see you <laughs> for the slimy little runt uh -huh. you are. Let's see if you can back those words up, you old shithead. Love the dialogue in this game. Damn it, how the hell did I lose to this chump? So what are your intentions from you, huh? He's working her heart out for you because she believes you and her are going to tie the knot one day. <laughs> you gotta be joking. What kind of idiot would tie himself down to a meat masseuse? Wow. Sure, we had our fun, but that's all it. This kind of word here and there, it's all, it's all it takes to keep her bringing in the bacon. But I'm not crazy enough to marry a woman who spreads her legs for a living. I can barely stand touching that tramp, let alone the thought of wasting my future on her. Is that how it really is? Huh? Nice. Bitch slap! How? Yu-chan? What fool I was to get taken in by you and your cheap lies. Got it wrong, it's just... Really hit rock's bottom, haven't I? So disappointed in myself. Well, I guess the cash just gave me, you just gave me can be my severance package. What did you just say? Uh, if you want to stay in one piece, you might want to pay back all the money she gave you. 
You're kidding, right? Why the hell would I do that? Yeah, you won't see any of that back. She gave it to her on her own free will. I see. Well, let's find out what her co-workers have to say about that. The bodyguard there is built like a pro wrestler, you know. He's real good at death collecting. The punching and kicking kind, that is. If I were you, I'd be, I'd make paying that money back a priority. Wait a minute. Mia-chan is the number one girl at her job. They'll do whatever it takes to make her happy. N no way. And don't think that just paying back the principal will cut it. She's gonna need compensation on top of that scumbag. God damn it. I'm sorry you had to see that, Tachan. I'm ashamed of what I let myself fall for. Are you any better now? How can I be? My boyfriend just completely screwed me over. I've never felt this low in my life. It's like I'm polluted. There's nothing I can do to wash it away. That's not true. Miyu-chan, there's nothing polluted about you. It's those two who are full of oh. filth. You're pure, Miyu-chan. Pure and beautiful and shining like a light in the darkness. I mean that with my heart. Tachan, thank you. I feel terrible for getting you into all of this. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. You don't have to be. I didn't do anything special. Anyway, I know it's not much of a condolence, but at least you won't have to work so much anymore. Plus, you're free of that self-serving asshole. Maybe it's for the best. That is true. I just wish I didn't have to happen at the cost of my dream. I guess we won't be hearing wedding bells anytime soon. Haha. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> Might have found a new candidate for my next boyfriend. Could that possibly be me? Me? <laughs> Let's just say I'll give you some extra steamy surface the next time you swing by. <laughs> Woohoo! Score! Oh, here's a little something as thanks. You take it. Cherry tree branch. Well, I guess I'll see you at the parlor, Tachan. Thanks again. So I'm a little confused. Since when is uh, a massage parlor a hidden message for a. Uh, what's it called again? A whore place. Uh, what's, what's the correct English word for that again? Uh... Damn, I'm so bad with my memory lately. Why can I not remember the words? <laughs> like they had a, they had that in The Witcher Three as well, and in pretty much every other. Oh, Can I beat your ass? You seem stronger than your average street punk. Probably been in a lot of fights. Excuse me, are you Tatsuo Shinada san? Yeah, who's asking? I help run the Victory Road tournament. I look forward to seeing much more of you. Victory Road. Allow me to explain. The Victory Road is an underground fighting contest which qualifiers held concurrently all over Japan. Its sole purpose is to find the ultimate fighter in the nation, and that man you just defeated, he was in the qualifying round. Yeah, sure, cool. But what does that have to do with me? We've had a eye on you. You seem to be a rather formidable fighter. But be warned, from now on, other Victory Road contenders will be gunning for you. Wait. What does any of this have to do with me? I've never even heard of your damn tournament. The winner will be granted the proud title of Ultimate Fighter. Oh, and then there's the prize money. Wait, did you just say prize money? Is it a lot? Defeat all the contendants here in town and I'll see you at the finals. Can you become the Ultimate Fighter, Shinada-san? Why can I not think of the name? I can't even think of the Dutch name. Uh... I, I'm baffled. I can't literally not think of it. You'll come around. Your kind always does. Now, if you'll excuse me, three road qualifiers. I suppose it's worth a shot if there's some prize money in it for me. Well, fuck my life. <laughs> Go away. <clears throat> お金ちょうだいよ。お、か、ね。
One-handed light weapons maxed out. Sakaguchi. Toughness Emperor? I'm an idiot. We already knew that. Ah, Tachan, just a man I want to see. You want to see me? I felt you were going to find someone and endorse you. What happened to that? Uh, they all said they were too busy to help. Sad face. Ouch, guess you're not very popular, are you? Isn't that kind of problem for politician? Boy, that is really not what I need to hear right now. <laughs> it was just a joke. Gotta lay it in the mood. Tachan, things are getting desperate here. I hate to impose, but can you do an endorsement speech for me, huh? Me? Give a speech? What are you, nuts? You know I can do that. I'm begging you, please. I'll explain my policies right now. Oh, and throw in some wonderful qualities about me as well. Mm, like what? Oh, come on, there is many. Don't you remember when you were flat broke? I give you a big portion for the price of a regular bowl. Did that ever actually happen? Happens all the time. Come on, Tachan. Be of some help. I simply cannot stand it anymore. Being out here alone is so horrible. You don't have to cry about it. You know, one's forcing you to... No one's forcing you to do this, granted. Yes, that's true. Besides, who's going to listen if I do make a speech? An endorsement only works if someone's famous. I tried to ask people like that, but each one turned me down. Maybe if you just start speaking with a fierce, fiery fervor, people will automatically assume you're someone famous, and then they'll stop and listen. Doubt that. No, I'm sure it'll happen. You're my only hope! It's either this or my career as politician is doomed. Give a speech. All right. You've been good to me, so I guess... Sorry, my uh, stove thingy was making noise. So I guess I owe you one. Let's see what I can do. You mean you'll help? Really? You're the man, Tachan. Don't go expecting too much. You and I both know it's a long shot. Duly noted. Okie dokie. So I should talk about what a great guy you are while simultaneously promoting your platform, right? You don't have to put it so bluntly, but yes, that's the gist of it. So, what is your platform, anyway? Well, I'm an advocate of three key pol uh, policies. Tax cuts, job creation, and child care support. You could say they are the three pillars of my political philo philosophy. Got it. Have you thought of how you're going to achieve all that? Of course I have. I'm not just doing this political thing on a whim. It's a bit lengthy, but let me fill you in on the uh, in on these policies. First, tax cut. My primary focus is to reduce the residence tax. We'll make up for the deficit with transfers from the national treasury. By cutting wasteful government spending, we can systematically reduce the tax burden on all of our citizens that will spur consumer spending in their local communities, which in turn will stimulate growth nationwide. Oh, that sounds like an actual policy. Next, job creation. This also involves tax cuts. By reducing corporate taxes in Nagoya, we'll attract more businesses to the area. But the more money you make, the more taxes you pay. As a result, companies try to move their operations to tax havens offshore. However, if all the rich were to flee Japan, the burden would fall on the rest of us. And eventually, it would come full circle. That's why I strongly believe reducing the tax burden on companies and the wealthy will revitalize Nag uh, Nagoya's economy and result in new jobs. Okay, got it. So it's not always bad to give the rich a break. Go figure. Third is childcare support. In order to raise the birth rates to sustainable levels, the government needs to do its part to help child-rearing families. I'm proposing that the child tax benefits uh, be increased with the difference to come from higher taxes for single people. Mm, that doesn't sound good to me. No, it doesn't. So, single, so singles will think it more worthwhile to raise kids. That will encourage more couples to marry. Perhaps this may crit be criticized as just vote buying, but I think the government needs to invest in the younger generation. True, true. Okay, I think I got it all down. I'll try to work it all into that into my speech somehow. Then I'll be counting on you, Tachan. They all call him Tachan, though. Yep, so just to recap. Your three pillars were tax cut, job creation, child care support. And about that about does it. Here goes nothing. 
Ahem, good day, fellow citizens. I'm sorry to disturb you on your busy day, but may I have your attention? What's going on? Is that some campaign rally? Mm -hmm. Who is that man? I'm sure I've seen that face before. Maybe it's somebody famous. My name is Tatsuo Shinada. I'm here today as a representative of the common people in support of Shozo Matsukane. Matsukane, she has long operated a ramen restaurant in town. He can be considered a hero for filling the bellies of our fellow citizens. Being locals like myself, I'm sure you at least know of Matsukane, she's ramen restaurant, which goes by the name of... Ram... Sachoko? Sachoko Ramen, held in the highest esteem among ramen fans in the know for its uniquely Nagoya charm. Hello, I am indeed the manager of Sachoko Ramen, and I hope I may count on your support for my entry into, pol into politics. That's their manager. I've been there. They are tasty. As a regular of Sachoko Ramen, I've enjoyed many heaping bowls of steaming noodles there. This personable and kind-hearted manager hopes to enter politics to represent us, the everyday folk that keep this town afloat. That's right, so please remember to lend Shozo Matsukane your support coming election day. Matsukane Shi's platform consists of three pillars! These pillars are the policies he will make every effort to enact if you would grant him the chance to serve in your office. The first pillar, tax cuts. If the financial burdens on our citizens are not reduced, the economy will remain moribund and hopeless. Matsukane Shi pledges to reduce the residence tax that, will, that we all currently pay. How does he propose to make up for the shortfall from the reduction in the residence tax? The answer is to transfer from the National Treasury. Get transfers from the National Treasury. And by cutting waste from the national budget, residence taxes in all of our communities will be reduced. The Japanese economy cannot be revived without a real improvement in the people's standard of living throughout the country. It is up to the local communities to inform the national government of this critical fact. I hope to be the vanguard of that movement. I'm all for cutting taxes. I'll be holding you to that. This economy really does need help. Matsukaneshi pledged to reduce your taxes as his first policy if he given to uh, if 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 he's given the chance to be your voice in the government i shoso matsukane promise to fight with my life to honor the trust you place in me but only you can give me that opportunity but only you <laughs> next the second pillar of its threefold platform job creation something must be done about the ridiculous high unemployment in these tough economic times we must reverse the shrinking job market how is Matsukane Shi going to tackle this? Uh, reducing corporate tax burden. By reducing the corporate tax burden, we make Nagoya an easier place to do business. More companies will be drawn to this area. Companies setting up shop in Nagoya will need to hire from the local community. That means jobs for our citizens. I propose to lower the corporate taxes at... Uh, uh, municipal and prefectural levels to make Nagoya more attractive to businesses. Yes, this may be criticized as pandering to the rich. However, enabling companies to lay down roots will eventually benefit the entire community. Hmm, I suppose that does make sense. It would be good if my son would could find work close to home. Maybe I'll start my own business. Fellow citizens, I can assume... I can assume, I can assure you that Matsukane Shi has nothing but community interests at heart. He will be a leader who sees things from your perspective. That's right, I show so Matsukane pledge to never give you, pledge to never give you up nor let you down. Why, why do we have to go with this yelling voice today, Jordi? I don't know. Now then, friends, countrymen, my endorsement... Of this fine, capable man will soon draw to a close, but allow me to say this. Matsukane Shi was born and will likely die in this town. His love for this city knows no bounds. That is why he has grave concern about the rapidly aging society that awaits beyond our low birth rate problem. This solution is the third pillar of his platform. 
his solution, not this solution. I can't fucking read. This is what he pledges. To raise the child tax benefit. To raise the child tax benefit by providing direct support to families, more people will be encouraged to raise children. Doing so, however, will result in a greater burden on households without children. That said, when we look to the future, we cannot try to please everyone. The fact of the matter is, our children will represent the very future of our city. I could sure use a bigger payout for the kids. Only families with children benefit? Then they tried this before. Your concerns are completely justified. I myself am a bachelor. If this policy were to be enacted, I would face a bigger tax bill. But now of all times, don't you agree that there is needs needs to be an investment in our future, in our children's future? The best way to make that happen is to put down Shozo Matsukane on those ballots. I know you'll make the right decision. Uh, uh, okay, we're going back to normal talking. Oh, not yet. In closing, I ask you to take a look around you. If you feel like making Kinech Kinech oh, fucking hell, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Fucking no, all of Nagoya a better place than please vote Shozo Matsukane on election day. This concludes my talk. Thank you all for your time and consideration. Don't forget to vote, my friends. Sow a seed into the future. What? Yeah! Whoa. Goodness me, look at all these people. Keep at it. You sure got my vote. See you at Sachoko sometime. If your ramen's as good as your campaign, then I'm sold. Do your best. You did it, Tachan. You made this a huge success. Kinda did, didn't I? I guess anything's worth a try. Your endorsement speech was truly magnificent. That's some hidden talent you have. Aw, oh, you're too kind. No. Now you're just inflating my ego. It's no flattery. That's some gift of persuasion you have there. Truly, I am in your debt. Unfortunately, I'm on the campaign right now and I can't legally offer you any reward. I feel terribly about that, but... Oh, no worries, man. I just... I'm just glad I could help out. Hmm? Hey, boss, I'm sorry I'm so late. Looks like someone beat me to the endorsement speech. I want to go first, huh? What's with all these people? Everyone, you actually came to support me? Are you kidding? Of course we did. You've been so good to me for years. Matsukane-san, I'm sorry for being so abrupt on the phone. It took me a while to pencil in some free time. It looks like you found someone perfect already, head-turning lady. Wait, you don't mean me, do you? Who else? That was a better endorsement speech than I could have ever hoped for. Let me take a shot at it too. I'll try to match it just as good. And I'll put extra empathy... Em emphasis on how great of a manager you are. I too would like to speak on your behalf. Then make that three. I guess you're not alone after all, are you? There goes my first impression. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a lucky guy. I'm going to have to dig down deep so I don't let you people down. But Tachan, you're the one who really put me back on track. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, we leveled up. Nice. Right, we're back here. I didn't want to be here yet. Uh, what was I working again? Oh, yeah. Health, Gage, and Shizim. It's a kind of magic. Magic. Let's go help that poor guy that was dying of hunger. I did buy it, right? Yeah, here, the Miso Katsu lunch set. Oh, Shinda Shinada san, thank god. Did you manage to bring me some food? Yes. this too? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thank you. Ah, this must be what it feels like to be revived from the dead. Glad to hear it. I had to look high and low for something that fit your bill, you know. I'm sure you did, and I was hungry enough to eat anything too. But you came through with what I hoped for. It was the greatest meal ever. This is another thing I was really saving for a rainy day, but since you were so helpful, please take it. I'd great plan them. 
Listen, if you had some tr some kind of trump card saved up for a rainy day, you should have used it long ago. You were, no joke, starving to death. Well, you never know when something worse might happen. Sorry to put you out, though. Man, you run your own errands next time. <sighs> it's a kind of magic. 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 Can I dodge this motherfucker? Apparently not. Boss. Oh my god, don't hit me! Hit me, baby, one more time! Mm. I think we're going south first, right? If we're gonna go past the Victory Royale shite. This drunk ass motherfucker. Hey, you, let's battle it out for the victory road. Whoa, hold up. You're totally hammered. Are you one of those drunken masters? Shut up, I'm an ex wrestler. You better watch your mouth. Kenichi Wasoi. And he's gone. All over for me. I can't even beat a clown like this. What are you calling a clown? You should take a look at yourself first. Shut up! I may not seem like much now, but you're looking at the great Kenichi Washino. I have no idea who that is. Damn amateur. They called me a rising star back in my pro wrestling days. I had a bright future ahead of me. Then, right after I made my debut, an opponent pulled an illegal move on me and put me in the hospital. That was the end of my career. Sounds like a familiar story. Are you telling me that's why you turned to the bottle? Of course it is. Can't make it through this life sober, that's for sure. Ugh, I'm done. <laughs> Once y'all fall, there's nothing going back. No second chances for losers in this world. I get the feeling you know what I'm talking about, huh? No point wasting time struggling. Join me and give up on life right now. I'm not like you, huh? Just because you had a setback doesn't give you the right to get drunk and try to drag others down. Not everyone gives up that easily. Why, you... A guy like you wouldn't have ended up like this even if you hadn't got injured. What? But this is all the fault of the guy who broke the rules! There you go, placing the blame on others. Have you actually ever made an effort yourself and tried to change your life? What's your name anyway? It's Shinada. Tatsuo Shinada. I've had about all the lip I can take from you, Shinada. I'm gonna show you what happens when I play for keeps, got it? You just wait. Oh, he looked pretty serious at the end there. <clears throat> Man, this is gonna suck. Ah, it's uh, nothing to worry about, uh, Shinada. Boom, 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 boom.
Guy rocket. Oh, poor guy. Pamphlets. Oh, hey, what brings you here, Shinoda san? Uh, and you are? I work part time at the editorial office. Don't you remember me serving you tea at the meetings? Sure, if you say so. Anyway, what's the story here? Why are you scrabbling around on the ground? Uh, one of the editors gave me some handwritten memos and told me to get them typed up and formatted. I was running to try and make the deadline, but I tripped and ate concrete. Then bumped the memos all over the place. Now I can't figure out what order they were. Oh, that's great. Oh, tough break. So what's your plan? All I would require is looking at each page and putting them back in order. Hey, maybe you could help being the your journalist and all. Hey, I put my heart and soul into this. I didn't get hired to be some paper shuffler. But I need the heart and soul on my side. Please, won't you give me a few minutes? You know how they say there ain't no rest for the wicked? It's even worse for the poor. Hence, I'm busier than I look. Fine, fine. I know what it is you want. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, so what are these memos of? The first is a compilation of erotic memoirs. One of the journalists did regular article stuff. The second part is a fiction series written by the editor himself. Fiction series, we have that. Oh yeah, that's his ultimate pet project. He has this crazy vision of being a famous author, so he talked to the chief into letting him flex his creative writing. He gets that damn fiction piece done no matter how tight the schedule is. It's pretty disturbing how much effort he puts into it. Got it. So if you get these in the wrong order, you're never going to hear the end of it. Exactly. That's why it's a nightmare. Well, all right. Let's see those memos you fumbled. Heart is racing in anticipation of our first time together. I parry her sultracious, sultry approaches. Old hands know to save her the delicate process. Upon entering the room, we engage in light banter. She doesn't know I'm a reporter and is eager to dis to please despite the hour. Or shall we simply disrobe? No, at this price, I require a slower, more savory stimulation. Alas, Nirvana awaits. I arrive at the parlor just before closing. In spite of it, she warmly welcomes my arrival. Okay, you want me to unscramble? this memoir. Let's see now which order makes the most sense. 4, 2, 1, 3. 2, 1, 3. There's no doubt about it. Thank you. I knew actual, asking an actual writer was the right decision. Ha! You know, dude. Now, onto the fiction. This ought to be good. Okay, have at it. It's so salty, Toru. The words tumbled softly from her lips. A dark thought crossed her mind. What if her husband were to see this? Kaori hesitated a moment. What she had just swallowed only intensified her carving to gobble down more of Toru's meaty offering. Are we really reading this out loud right now, guys? <clears throat> now, tell me. It tastes good, doesn't it? Toru's voice carried the steely edge. It was a command that brooked no dissent. But it didn't matter now. Brushing aside her misgivings, she greedily snatched the chicken wings. Chicken wings remains from Toru's hand. Jesus Christ. This is uh, something. It's 3214. Man, I'm glad I ran into you. Well, I guess it was the other way around, but still, I'd be screwed if it wasn't for your help. Hey, I think it is no easy task. It's definitely beyond the scope of the general public. As a fledgling in the industry, you've got your work cut out for you. So don't shame the name. Of course, I'll do my best, especially for the senpai who saved me. Now please wait here a moment. I need to get these typed up. Sure, don't forget the rewards you promised. Reward me! Thank you, Shinada-san! Hey, you're quick. Nice work, kid. So, how about that reward? Yes, thank you. I showed the chief what we did, and everything got approved. And he should. I am a pro, you know. You've proven that, and then some. This is a lot. This isn't a lot, but it's all I can afford. Thank you. That's something. If I screw up the pages, the editor would have ripped me a new one. I sure am lucky we crossed paths. Thanks again, Shinada-san. 
I'll do my best to learn from your timeless wisdom. <laughs> Good job, me. Rep those mad editorial skills. Why did we say, uh, good job me, exactly? We didn't do jack shit. Abilities! Okay, let's run. We're going upwards. Up, up, and away! This is the bar, right? Yeah, first shot. Oh, hell no. Oh, Tacha, you know you can't run up a tab here. Gotta pay to play. Uh, yeah, you got me. But what's with the little lady? Sounds like you folk were <sighs> arguing. Yeah, she was asking to work at her place. So far, so good, right? Problem is, she's 17. Oh no, I imagine the law would look unkindly on having a kid in there. Not to mention anyone decent. Fine, sorry I bothered you. Oh, okay. Everything okay with her? She said her old man's deep in debt, so she tries to apply with us. Hope she knows what kind of rabbit hole this industry is. I see. But since she, you turned her down, wouldn't she just try to apply at some other sleaze pit? No offense, yep. by the way. Oh, none taken. But yeah, she's still a minor until she hits 18. Nobody sane would hire her. No, it's a legit establishment anyway. Hope no one shady finds out about this. I'm concerned about that myself, Tachan. You got nothing better going on, right? Can you keep an eye on her for? She went running in the direction of the free info booth. Tell her we'll be happy to take her in, but only when she's of legal age. Hard work and generous support of those who stood with me. Main story, Goops wasn't really the plan. なんにも知らないくせにバカ。ああ。兄ちゃん。俺は兄ちゃん。あ、あいやいや。そんな。親の手から賄賂を取るのは俺らの仲間だ。あいつはな。スカンバ、ダーク、ダーク、ダーク、
うんまあどうしたの元気ないがね実はお店の子たちとクリスマスキャンペーンのケーキ作ったんだけどさお客さん少なくて余っとるんだわよかったら食べに行こうへんそうだな行こうかなたっちゃんお店の屋上で待っとるね Okay then meet you at the roof The roof The roof The roof is on fire Uh, where the fuck am I actually? Close by enough to quests. Hey, is everything cool? You look kinda down. I can tell even with that mask on. Oh, hi Tachan. Yeah, we got shoplifter trouble. Some punk decided to use us as his personal pantry. He's been sneaking off with things like soda and snacks, even dirty magazines. He gets away with it every single time. Hmm, sounds annoying. There sure are a lot of troublemakers out there. Speaking of trouble, guys like you shamelessly asking for expired bento boxes are about as much as a nu of nuisance. Says you, you never give me any, even when I ask nicely. <laughs> what do you expect? This isn't a soup kitchen. Besides, if I did give expired food away, who knows how many other freeloaders would catch on. There'd be no end to it. Jeez. Is this what I get for asking how you're doing? Uh, no, I didn't mean to blow up at you. Just stressed because of that stupid shoplifter, yeah. But with the way you're circling around your store like a hawk, customers won't be too scared to come in. Fortunately, right now all customers look like crooks to me. I know, touch on, how would you like to take home an expired bento today? Hmm? Really? Why the sudden change of heart? I was hoping I could get you to work here in return, just for a while. <clears throat> work? Like you want me to mend the counter? Yep. And if you can, I'd like you to catch our shoplifter. Oh, now I get it. It's just... Uh, thought you look like you could handle yourself in a fight. Besides, you're not all that busy, are you? What? I look like I'm always loitering around to you. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, you have a point. I'm serious, though. I really am in bind here. I could use all the help I can get. Even if the shoplifter doesn't show, I'll pay you for the time you work. And that's on top of the bento. What do you say? I can't right now. Nah, I'll pass. You sure? Well, it's worth a shot. I can uh, do it in a bit, but I need full HP just to be safe. I don't want to lose my boosties. Ida shy masin go juji sama. Arigato. I should probably go to the... what's it called? <laughs> yeah, you're the man. Can you hop on the register right away? I never worked in a convenience store before. Are you sure this will be okay? I'll back you up if you run into any trouble. It shouldn't be too bad. You just need to think uh, on your feet. For instance, if someone's buying a bento, you need to give them chopsticks or a fork. You need to observe and think about what the customer needs and respond quickly and appropriate. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Say I were to buy one of these, what does the item need? A cup. A straw. Oh. Too slow, Cha-Chan. You have to decide more quickly. Okay, dang. Be faster than I thought. Straw is the right choice here. Oh, straw. But you'll have to make complicated decisions like this each and every time. I know it can be very taxing on the mind. But if you can't even figure out their basic convenience store needs, they'll get really pissy with you. So staying on your toes is a must. Okay, this sounds kind of challenging. Hello! I'll take this. Do you want me to microwave this? Should I microwave this? Yes, please. Oh yeah, this is easy. Just need to keep it up. A fork. Please do. Don't have enough charge. Change, here's 10 thingy. Hi. 
Okay, sorry. Actually got 80 uh, yen here. Yeah. Give you 80 yen more. So give me the change from that. 970. Greetings, sir, grandpa this time. So again, may I have these this please? Should I microwave that? Ah yes please. I'll put the spoon in the bag as well. How kind of you, thank you so much. Also, I'll take a steam bun, please. One steam bun, okay. And some bean paste buns, I'll take three, uh, okay. Oh, and some pizza buns, two, please. Oh, and cancel one of the bean paste buns, that all do. One steamed, two bean, two pizza. One steamed, two bean, two pizza. Yes, good job remembering all that, well done. Oh no, sir, it's nothing special. After all, this is my job. By the way, do you carry postage stamps? Postage stamps, huh? Tachan, we have those. We have two kinds, 50 and 80. Hey. Three, three. Hey. Let me see. Ah, yes, that's right. That adds up to 390. Great. Your total comes down to 1,020, 70 yen. Thank, thank you for shopping with us. Jesus. Hello and welcome. Oh, this lady's pretty cute. Is she an office worker? What's she gonna buy? Um, just this. Whoa, it's a pair of pennies. What would you need to say to someone buying underwear? Can't think of anything in particular. Mm, excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, nothing at all. Sorry, it's just today's my first day. Oh, is that right? Then good luck. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Oh, well, thank you very much. Well, that's a nice lady. Boy, am I glad I didn't say anything stupid. Oh, may I also have some cigarettes? Cigarettes, certainly. One pack? Yes, cigarettes, huh. Uh, may I check your age, please? Oh, yes, that's right. Will my driver's license do? Yes, of course. I'm starting to get the hang of this after all. How much do I owe you? Uh, A90. Hey. Don't have anything small. Oh, but I do have 7 yen in change. Hey. Here's. Change comes out to. Sorry, I found another 20 yen. Okay, uh, 8, 9. 80, 90. 98. 89, whatever. I don't need a bag. I have my hand back. Great. Thank you for shopping with us. The convenience store clerk takes a lot more thought than I expected. Man, that's exhausting. Hey, Tachan. What? What is it? I'm doing my job, aren't I? Huh? Was that the... Shoplifter is hit. Tachan, chase him down, quick! So he's finally re earned his ugly thieving hat. Okay, I'm on it. Get over here, you bitch! Way to go, Tachan. We finally got rid of that con omniving kleptomaniac. That was the, the easy part. Working by the register was way harder. I know what you mean. You always have to be thinking ahead, crunching numbers, anticipating all kinds of problems. A lot's expected out of you for such little pay. Right. That's only like 700 yen an hour. At least it's steadier work than my writing gig. Well, your freelance writers don't have it easy either, huh? Well, here's your pay. 
You meant to counter like a veteran too. You got it down. Touch on heck. I hope I can call on you uh, as a pinch hitter for short staff. <laughs> Thanks. I added a reward for catching that crook in with your payment too. Oh, and don't forget your bento. Hey, but this is a one-time deal, okay? Don't get it into your heads that you can keep coming back for more. <laughs> yeah, to go and say that. Anyway, you really came through today. Thanks a bunch, Tachan. Tachan! Everyone calls him Tachan, and I'm like, why the fuck? We're discarding it because it's bad health. Oh, that's her. She was trying to get a job at the Hawaiian pub. Hmm? Something the matter? Yeah, kind of. You were asking for a job at the Hawaiian pub, right? Oh, are they going to hire me? No, not by a long shot. The manager and I were curious as to why a girl so young wants to join, uh, wants a job so sleazy. I don't need your sympathy, you know. We don't even know each other. I mean, yeah, that's true. But I heard this is all uh, to clear your father's debt. What would make you go this far? It's because I've been such a burden to my dad. If I can just get through this, I can finally stop being one. I, If I don't, my dad will be locked into debt for decades. But by doing this, the loan will be paid in just a year. If I were your dad, I would never let you do it. In fact, I'd rather work myself to death paying off that debt better than letting my daughter sell herself. Well, it's not like I'm going to tell him. You see, my dad fell into financial ruin paying my medical treatments, which I need to stay alive. Okay, so you think you're prepared to do whatever it takes, but do you really know what it means to work in the adult entertainment? Sorry, in the sex industry? I did my due diligence and research as much as I could. I think I know what to expect. You did what kind of research? Looking porn up online? Well, at least that's how I research. What are you trying to say here? I actually work in the sex industry. I'm a journalist, so I've gotten to know a few ladies in the business. And you're the first I've met who's trying to go in with such a naive motive. Pardon? Look, there are a lot of girls who start doing this on a whim. But most of them take the plunge only because they literally have no other option. And when you hear stuff about sex workers claiming they like the job, that they're making money while having fun, that is a select few. Most of them don't have that luxury. If lines like that are what brought you to the doorstep of this dark world, well, I'm sorry, but you're only gonna regret it, and by then, you'll have lost so much. I have to do this. I want to make life easier for my dad. Your father assumed the depth and the stress that came with it so he could save your life. If you go and do this yourself, won't you have wasted his effort? Knowing that, can you honestly claim you want to work in this crazy business? I know my words don't carry much weight, doing what I do, but you should have more respect for yourself. You're a kid. You have no idea what you're getting into. Oh shit, gangsters appear. Uh -huh. Hey, you done with your self-help seminar, asshole? Step away from the merchandise. And who might you be? That's my line. Who are you to little Misa-chan here? Oh, I get it. You're bill collectors. You're seriously trying to get this kid to pay her dad's debt by selling her innocence? Fuck yeah, dude. Misa Chun, sweetie, did you pick a nice parlor yet? I was turned down when I told them I'm 17. <laughs> yeah, I figured that would happen. So I found you another job. It's a bit rougher than being on house call, but it pays a lot more. What the hell are you thinking, man? What are you trying to make her do? S you stay out of this. She'll, she's nobody to you, or are you offering to cover her debt? Yeah. It's okay, I know I'll be alright. No, don't do it. You still haven't crossed that line. Goodbye. Sayonara! Atta girl. <sighs> What's the hold up, Misa Chan? Let's go. Sorry, I just. Hey, Misa, you're paying off your daddy's debt, right? It's too late to back out now. Hurry up and move your ass. Misa John, like you said, I'm nobody to you. I have no reason to be meddling in your affairs. <laughs> you're goddamn right. That's why I need you to say one thing. That's all you have to do. What do you want me to say? Two words. Help me. 
If you can say that, I'll do something. Show me what you want. Show me that you want to save yourself, and I'll take care of the rest. What is this TV drama bullshit? You shut your trap or we'll shut it for you. Help. I don't want to go with these people. Please, please help me. Took some guts to say. All right, Misa-chan, stand back and let me take care of those jokers. Shh, looks like we got a hero on our hands. Hey, boys, we're bitch-slapping this dreamer back to reality. We still got a fucking busted-up face, though. <laughs> Stop, stop already, have mercy. You've got sacred word. The sacredest of woods. I was so scared. I wouldn't doubt it. You know there's no telling what would have happened if you went with them, don't you? Um, my job, being what it is, I won't say working in the sex industry is a bad thing. But it, is, it isn't a choice to make lightly. Ah, but who am I to talk? I'm sure my words ring pretty hollow, don't they? No. That's not true. I, I'm going to try and help my father like I've always done, slow and steady. Definitely not shady. Yep, I think that's for the best. Sir, I thank you so much. Arigato! Come on, Chief. That's just cold. You're just... You're really gonna walk one by without even so much of a glance? Yari yari does he... Um, what? Step inside and discover a world full of wonder, mystery, and excitement. Our massage parlor guarantees a happy ending with every purchase. It is the happiest ending on earth. We're the cheeky chestnut, and for the incredible low price of 4,500 4, yen, our girls go the extra distance for none extra pay. Hmm, that is cheap, but I've never heard of this place before. Well, we opened only recently, but I can guarantee our girls will not only give you a happy ending, they'll give you a new beginning. It could very well transform your life. Guess I can use this sort of story. Force comes to worse. Relax your mind, clear your thoughts, unload yourself. This is a one-of-kind experience that people desperately need, especially in dark times like these. Sign me up, bro! Ah, uh, yes, indeed. Avail away, kind sir. Booking for one right this way. Ew. You get what you pay for, room-wise. I hope the girl's at least passable. Woohoo, here she comes. Yep, come on in. Hey, sweetheart, I'm Yuka. Ooh, this old skeleton in a dress. She's a spitting image of Una-san. It's so cold out today, isn't it? Why don't you come close, a little closer and let me warm you up? Uh, well, I'm sorry you have to say this, but... But what? Are you trying to say you want a different girl? Yeah, I'm really sorry. I just had... It's just that you look so much like a friend of mine. It'd be really awkward to take things any further. <laughs> the absolute nerve of you. You are hardly a looker yourself. That might be true, but there's no way I can get down with you. No offense, uno son. How dare you treat me this way? And who's this Uno son you speak of? You know what? I want nothing to do with you either. Yikes. Is this place even legit? Maybe it was too good to be true. 
Please let it be cutie coming through that door. Come on in. A big sexy, another old hag. I'm Rumi, and I'm gonna rock your world. Another bony old grandma, and this time it's Coach, Coach Fujita. <laughs> you must be all wound up from waiting. I bet you can't wait for me to work my fingers around those achy muscles. Well, uh, about that. I'm seriously going to ask for a different girl again? Yes. You better smarten up. Did you come here just to waste our time? No, I'm sorry. It's just that your face reminds me of someone I regard as a parent. Don't you insult me like that. Even if I were old enough to have a son your age, he wouldn't be as ugly as you. I think you might have misunderstood me. Don't try playing dumb. You must think I'm some kind of fool, don't you? That's it. I'm calling one of the staff. Huh? Listen, you can only ask to change girls once. Quit crewing around and choose one or the other. Choose between Uno or Coach? You gotta be kidding me. It's Yuka-chan and Rumi-chan. Don't give them weird nicknames. Look, I'm sorry, but if those are my only options, I'm out. <laughs> I'm leaving and I'd like my money back. You didn't think you could just walk out of here, scot free asshole. Now it's either Yuka-chan or Rumi-chan. Choose! I choose neither! I can't... just can't huh? do this. Enough of your bullshit, man! Your health and well-being depends on your answer here. Choose one right now. He says, between Uno-san or Coach Fujita. <laughs> Either option is kind of horrific. Run like hell! <laughs> no, no way, no how, no can do. I'm leaving. I've had it up here with you, sir. You want to diss the cheeky chestnut one more time? Get your ass outside. I'll teach you who's allowed to be cheeky around here. <laughs> It must be this guy's type, honestly. Must be this guy's type. <laughs> okay, okay, you win. Please stop the violence. I'll give you your refund. Damn straight you will. Make it snappy. <laughs> You know, I'm sad. You were the first customer we had in such a long time. I'll get some better looking girls at least. Nobody would go for cheap, but... Nobody would go for cheap, but horrible. What a terrible thing to say. Yuka-chan and Rumi-chan are solid eights in my book. Even no li low lines. See, I told you! It's exactly what kind of shit he likes. <laughs> what, on a scale of a hundred? You're not cut out for this job, bud. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of a hundred. Uh, <laughs> uh, this poor man. This poor man. <laughs> uh, that's fucking fantastic. <laughs> that's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Club screening. Hey, Tachan, good timing, man. I got a nifty little uh, proposition for you. Ooh, what is it? I met this fellow at a bar, said he's the president of a small company and he's looking to hire a secretary. Job calls for a single guy in his 30s with brawny build and cheerful personality. And I instantly thought of you. I can understand for cheerful personality part, but why would he want a secretary with a brawny build? Who knows, maybe you're supposed to be a bodyguard as well. He said he needs to see a resume and there will be an interview just as a formality, but apparently he can offer a pretty competitive salary. I also told him you work in a nightlife industry, but he doesn't see it as a problem. To me, it's a sweet deal. Aren't you always saying how you're up to your neck in debt? Couldn't hurt, at least check it out. Hmm. This is a a full employee position with all the juicy benefits. That's what he said. You'd be making good money on a steady basis. Doesn't get much better than that. It's not a very big company, but they're a legit business. Nothing shady about them. Why would the president of legit business need a bodyguard? I just said bodyguard as a guess. Anyway, I can get you in touch with him if you want. Might not be a bad deal. What should I do? Take the interview.
Okay, so you need to prepare a resume first. I have a few forms that our girls use. You can fill out one of those. Name, address, age, education, employment, history, uh, what else? Oh, right, my motives of wanting to join the company. Uh, what does this company do? You said they are in food processing. Food processing, I don't know squat about that. I'll just have to wing it. By the president's reputation. I've dreamed of working in food presidency. Process is processing. Prese presidency, Yordi? That's not even a word. Was drawn in by your company style. There. What a bullshitter. You don't even know the company. <laughs> well, you brought me this deal. All I know is what you told me. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, next. Hobbies and skills. I don't need to BS this one, so... I knock balls out of the park. I like to get my balls rubbed. I've got balls of steel. I am a home run hammering machine. That's a stretch. All you do is spend your time at the betting center and you don't even play on the team. Is that even good enough? Good enough. It's a proper skill as far as I'm concerned. If you say so. There, the resume is good as gold. Nice. Then let's get you over to that interview. You mean like right now? They're only looking for one new hire. You wouldn't want someone else to beat you to the punch, would you? I'll let the president know you're coming. Oh, and good luck. If you get the job, come back with your first paycheck to celebrate. We'll hook you up with our super steamy VIP special. Aw, you do that for little old me? You sure know how to motivate a guy. I'll head over there right now. Who are these big fellows behind the president? Are they... the bodyguards? Makes me wonder if this really is legit. Alright, Shinada, I am Egashira, and I'm the president of this hair company. So without further ado, what do you say we get the show off on the road? Yes, sir. Good. Now, I see you were recommended by the manager of Strawberry, but don't expect any preferential treatment. This is going to be an impartial hiring process. Oh, of course. What the heck? I thought this interview was supposed to be just a formality. But I must say, he did send us quite the beefcake. As far as brawny builds go, you're our number one candidate so far. You'll look expedition... expectionally capable of doing our sort of work. Oh, uh, thank you? Yes, well, let's start with your reason for wanting to join our company. Yeah. I was drawn in by your company style, really. You've heard about a company? I find that surprising. We're not very known to the public. Ouch. Way to stumble right off the bat. Guess that was a dumb to write. Well, did you really know about us beforehand? Ah. Uh, of course I knew. I'm sorry, I lied. I don't know a thing about your company. Oh, well, that's very honest of you to come clean, especially after I put you on the spot like that. You seem to be a trustworthy man. Oh, thank you. But telling such an obvious lie, now, that just won't do. If you must exaggerate the truth, do it in a way that sinks in. Join a company and I'll teach you how, personally. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, please. No way, he took it positively? I guess I really can just make shit up sometimes. Now, Shinada, I know you're from Tokyo, but I see you've lived in Nagoya for quite a long time. Have you always been a nightlife journalist? Oh, yes, I've managed to scrap by so far. Indeed, I imagine your income might be unsteady, stringing along one writing gig to the next. Seems like it could be quite rough. Perhaps you're ready to move on from that. <sighs> I've totally had enough. Which is why you came to this interview. That said, you learned of us because you're in the nightlife industry seeking another op uh, an other opportunities. Perhaps your career of choice was all in preparation for coming to us today. Maybe I'm blowing things out of proportion, but this could be considered fate of sorts. I see. That is a possibility. Bring it home, baby. The job is as good as mine, huh? What is on this resume? Hmm. You wrote under your hobbies and skills. It's quite intriguing. Is it? It says, and I quote, knocking balls out of the park. I'm a home runner hammering machine. Would you care to elaborate? Ah, uh, that's just baseball talk. I train regularly at the batting center, see? Hmm, you certainly do have an impressive build. What with those finely toned arms and broad muscular shoulders, I'm sure they'll serve you well at this position. Is that right? 
May I ask you a question? I know you're looking for a secretary, but is there a manual labor aspect to the job? I intend to explain that later. Why are you worried over what this job entails? I'm worried whether I can measure up. Whether I measure up to the job yeah. or not. Let me do the measuring here. I assure that by virtue of you being here, you already trust my judgment. Yes, of course. I didn't mean to doubt you, sir. That said, this is really a secretary job. Now, as you probably guess, I found this company, uh, founded this company and I make all the decisions. I handle the hiring process my, by myself. I interview all the candidates and I alone make the call whether to hire or not. With this kind of organizational structure, I expect absolute loyalty from my workers. It's a relationship that, like that of a father and his sons. Let me ask you this, Shinada. Can you obey me like you would your father? Are you mentally, physically, emotionally prepared to do my every bidding, no matter how excruciating? Whoa, this sounds like the Yakuza. Is this company a front for mobsters? This could be your last chance to turn back. Well, can you swear total subservience to me? I swear! Yes, I swear to it. Excellent. That the courage. Then, Shinada, allow me to congratulate you. Welcome to our corporate family. Hmm? Just like that. I told you I make the decisions. If I say go, there is no one to say no. That, that my decision is final. And don't worry about the salary. I can assure you we are far more generous than the nightlife magazine. Our pockets run deep for a reason. Something feels off about this. All right, Shinada. You're my secretary now. Let's get you started right away. Okay, what should I do? <laughs> Come with me and see for yourself. <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Oh, you know, just another day at the office. You'll get used to it. Get used to my boss wearing nothing but a loincoat? Fat chance. Oh, don't get your fundoshi in a bunch. Now strip, Shinada. You swore total subservience, remember? Like a son to his father, so come on over to daddy. No need to be shy. Uh-huh, okay. So this is what you were planning. Don't you find it wrong to just bring this all me out of nowhere? Oh, believe me, I do. In fact, that's the thrill of it. The mere thought of how bizarre the situation is makes, me, makes my heart throb, among other things. Now savor it, Shinada. Breathe it all in. I've been waiting for this moment since the first time I laid eyes on you. And what a feast you are! So, so that interview was all just for show? We have to end up here either way? That's right, Shinada. And now, it's time for you to end up on my lap. Do as you're told, my son, or daddy is gonna have to spank you. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me, bro? There is no way that they planned this one out. <laughs> no one's spanking anyone today. You can forget about the roleplay. I'm going home. <laughs> you just keep getting better and better. I knew I had you pegged as the perfect wayward son. Father knows best after all. Holy shit sticks! But I can see you have a wild streak that requires a bit of discipline. As your father, I have to do this. But you'll thank me for it in the end. Get ready for some tough love. What the hell is with this company? Do all your employees get initiated like this? You know what? I don't even care. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Run! Nigarenda yo! <laughs> Oh, I actually got stunned. Doo -doo.
<laughs> Fucking hell. You are a rebellious lad, all right. No wonder you caught my eye. You're welcome back here if you ever change your mind, Shina Dakun. Not happening. Okay, then here's your severance pay. I trust you'll keep this dark secret between us, like any good father and son. <laughs> I'm. Jeez, so much for trying to change careers. <laughs> there is no fucking way, bro. <laughs> What a shit stain of a quest is that? Shinada kun! Give me beer, bitch! Give me some food, bitch! Okay, give me like strength or focus or something, not spirit. Okay, I guess I'm taking spirit. Again. Ooh, we got a price ticket. Oh, it's stupid shit, bro. Okay, so the next quest is Konchi Cups, right? That's a good girl. Well, still no. Is that a chicken? Are you trying to catch it? Shh. Situation demands the utmost concentration. Don't talk to me right now. Heck's a chicken doing in the middle of the city? Whoa! No! Come back! Hey, don't just stand there gawking. Help me catch my beautiful baby bird! Wait, why me? The chicken, a cochin, actually, is a prized avian beast. Its life is worth more than mine and yours put together. Look, I'll even give you a reward for helping. Sounds good? Should have said that first. Then go forth, run like the wind, and bring my cochin to me. Gotcha. My coaching. My coaching brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> what the fuck is coaching, anyways? Coaching Cup Classic. Oh shit. This is a. Uh, holy fucking hell. Available. In Akinecho only to Shinada, racing is found on the west end of Ho Chincho. Win all four races. Called Getting Rich Quick. Complete it. To register, you first need to name your coach in. Start by going to the first race to get an idea, the idea down. Once the race happens, the chicken largely takes over. You can egg on your bird to give it a temporary boost of speed, but largely it's up to the chicken itself. So the difficulty is in making a good coaching. But of course, this beaut right here ain't your garden variety Gamecocks. She's a certified bona fide coaching. Yeah, coaching, that expensive breed used for premium grade meat, right? And I never had that yeah, before. Yeah. No way! You're not eating this little prize hen. Don't look at my coaching with those lustful greedy eyes. Oh, and I hear the eggs are as tasty as the meat. An oyakodon bowl made with cochin must taste like heaven. Purge those unclean thoughts from your mind! This bird is precious beyond compare. Why eating her would be a cardinal sin? I don't know, man. Seems like a waste of a good bird to me. What's so special about this one? <laughs> Fucking Shinada. I'll show you. I promise you a reward for helping, right? Come with me. Oh, and the name is Ukai. What's yours? Shinada. I'm a freelance journalist specializing in... Or should I put it? Uh, how should I put this? Ever want to hit a massage parlor? I'm the guy to ask. Oh, huh. Interesting. Nice to meet you, Shinada son. So, where are we off to? You'll see when we get there. It's right over yonder. <laughs> so, this is another mini game. Whoa. Coaching racing. Behold, for you are about to witness the greatest competition of luck, pluck, and cluck ever devised. This is the Coaching Cup Classic. Coaching Cup Classic? Never heard of it. 
Think of this like a sanctuary for chicken enthusiasts, a place where people take the beloved cochins they've nurtured and raise them against each other for prize money. It's not unlike horse racing, really. There are some champion birds out there that are that have hauled in millions, millions, as in millions of yen, seriously. Honestly, truth buddy, that bird we just backed, her eggs are as good as gold. Hmm, sounds like there's good money to be made. So did you come up with this coaching racing idea on your own? Yep, not to crow about it, but it sure is something, eh? I used to run a chicken farm out in the countryside, see? One day I set up a track on a whim and raced us some birds, and when you know it, people got a big hoot out of it. I figured what works in the sticks has a chance to soar in Kine Icho, so I gave it a try. Pretty soon, the spectac uh, spectacle became a full-on sport. We've been getting better and better. We've been getting better some breeders in droves, the latter of which can sure make mint. Throughout, uh, thoroughbred race coaches are their livelihood now. Well, how about that? So, Shinada-san, I'll give you an up, an up-and-coming coaching in my stable, as thanks for bringing my little chica D home. Really, you will. You have to promise me you won't eat it, though. <laughs> You're only ge getting it on the condition that you raise it as a proper racer. If you do it right, that chicken can make you lots more money than it can as me. Even millions, huh? Absolutely. Talk to me if you want to enter in a race. I'll set things up for you. Let's step outside. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting we we're gonna do this instantly, but apparently we're gonna do this right now. I also don't know how long it takes. Yeah, well, this is where I spend most of my life. Ever get the urge to send a chicken flying down the track? You come talk to me. Oh, here you go, buddy. The coaching, I promise. You got an intellect-looking coaching chicken. Okay, can I... Uh, how does this work, exactly? I need to do a race first, I guess. Are you participating in Coaching Cup Classic? Oh, hey, this is Shinada-san, my chicken-chasing comrade. Hmm? You still have a name to Coaching I gave you? Oh, right, it's a living creature. I guess it does need a name. Yeah, he'll need the proper name in order to register for the race. Why don't we go ahead and take care of that right now? We are gonna name it... Raven. Why? I don't know. I had a different name in my head, and I couldn't... Uh, couldn't for the life of me come back what it was. Take this baby in. Tell me whenever you want to race. Uh, what does breeding do? Let me actually read. The thing is that trainers want payment for this and not the money. They want items. Depending on the items you give them, they'll train your coaching differently. They have preferences, but the main story is that the more expensive the item, the bigger the boost. There's a vastly complicated list of items you can give them, which increase the stats, but I choose not to compile that here. I'm going to just give you this advice. Buy a whole bunch of taurines and spread them out between Shimazaki, Toda, and Kanamiya for the most balanced training possible. As at the most effective price. That said, if fights on the street give you interesting things, don't be afraid to part with them. Uh, to see what they get you, but don't think you have to part with the most expensive stuff just for this mini game. That said, gold plates are the cheapest item to give the highest possible boost in the game. If you got the money to burn, it can expedite the process. Now, another useful thing to grab for this is the frozen tuna, which you get for completing Akiyama's training. We did that. All completion bonus restock in the convenience store after you discard or sell them. And Oh, really? And the Frozen Tuna, unlike almost all other bonuses, actually give a good boost in training. So pull that out every trip you make to the convenience store to stock up on stuff. Uh, tar, tar, tari, tari, tari. Okay. 
important thing about coaching is that they cannot run forever. Eventually they reach the peak of their abilities and you'll have to breed them, get the next generation of runner. For example, your very first chicken will cap out at 100 each for stamina and leg power and 50 for dirt and dark, which is, well, shy of the max 90 now. <laughs> Holy hell. Once you your chicken has run three races, they can breed. This will retire the original chicken, but you'll get a better one out of the deal. You'll be allowed to select from three hens to breed with and you can select them to see what their stats and skills are. If you select a mommy, your child will happen. This child will have lower stats to start with, greater potential. Just as a note, the jump from challenger class to contender class is serious, so you might need a third gen chicken to get through. Extra chickens! Once you beat the Newcomer Cup, two guys will show up in town ready to hand off their chickens to you. The first guy is right near Ukai, the racing guy, and he'll give you his chicken for free. Unfortunately, he's not all that much better than your initial chicken. Now, the second guy has a better chicken. Head over to Kamiya Works and you'll find a guy in a mask hanging out outside. He wants 100,000 yen for his chicken. Say no twice and you'll haggle him down to which is a steal for his birds. It has great leg power, but its stamina is quite low in comparison. Train him up, focusing on that to get him to sn to snuff to race hard, being a champion. So other stuff is involving like condition, personality, titles, skill. But honestly, as long as you build up a good enough chicken, you can win the champion races with some patience. Play around if you wish. You've completed the minigame once you won the champion class. Just for reference, it took me until the fifth generation of chicken to win. Uh, okay, so I'm actually gonna leave then. Where am I exactly? I'm here. So I'm gonna make a dash for... I gotta... Yeah, it's, it's fine. Just gotta wait a little bit. We got some shit to sell and some money to grab. This is Noda's Yokota. This one. What can I buy here, actually? Repair kit, blackjack. Oh yeah, these are the... Sorry, I'm taking these. You got a price ticket. Wasting your money already. Not wasting anything. It's all according to plan. Um, that's at least two. Okay, that gives me like two hundred and twenty. Um. Got to go to the convenience store. Soko no Osan. Wait. This one, this one, this one. You're going here, you're going there. Like that. Ari nurse. Okay. Me, but all. Oh. 
らっしゃいませ。Gotta make it through all the foods at some point, anyways. Okay, combi. It's quite a long run, by the way, to the combi. Um, uh, if I use the cab, I probably get there faster. You just show him a scene. Eye out, see if I can find some rich bastards. I don't want to fight you though. That being said, I don't think I have a choice but to kick your butt. The other one was with swords. So you are all. A three thousand? Don't mind if I do. Can't touch this. Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -da -na. You are a victory royal on fire. You need to get your ass kicked. Kill much. Yeah, and that unlocks this guy. Ooh, rich guy, rich guy, rich guy. I see it. Like. Ah, Yomar, Stamina Spark. It's not as great. Oh, this is not it. Wait, where the fuck was it then? Daru, Shinada. Oi, oi, oi. Main Navi, Club Eden. Wait, where the fuck? We're still at North, East, Southwest, West Hong Jicho Street. I 
completely, like... Oh, so we're here. Wait, so it's not... There isn't an actual... Yaddy yaddy does he. Train Kuchin. Raven. Uh, Shima, Toda, and Kanayami. Okay. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Train. Raven, Shima, Kochin, Raven, Kanemiya, then. One more on dirt. Okay, maxed out completely. Enter races. Raven. Newcomer! Short course with no special features. Wind Cup. The winner enter, uh, wins a thousand yen. Bracket one, Big Papa, The Crusher, Fledgling Raven, Wingman. <laughs> no, Fledgling, don't get distracted. Raven, you were doing so well. Okay, so we don't use egg on. Sad. Third place. What a atrocity. Enter races. I need to race three times. Then we can uh, breed for a better one. Wait. Oh, I thought uh, there were more last time. But no, that's just my imagination. Starting line, wingman! 
the Scrabbler, and Raven. And here we go! Good job, Raven. This time we're kicking ass. That's what we like to see. Chicken raises! King of coaching. <laughs> we just, this is the first time, okay? We just started. <laughs> Raven, newcomer class. Let's uh, do the other one now. I think I have to beat each one once, right? And then we beat the newcomer. Uh... Big Papa, the Crusher. Bullet in Raven. Last time I got my ass kicked very badly by. Oh, hey. What are you doing? My bro. Show them what it's like to be a champion. Raven, show Big Papa that he is not worth our time. Good. We're winning. We're doing chicken races. Victory is us! Holy shit, Monica is high power. Running style sprint. Earnest. Lower chance of stopping. Empty nester. No skills. Distance. Diamond. Du. Negate all opponent's skills, king. Erratic. Distant. Let's go with Monica. Okay, now we can up a lot more. Yaki Toki. Oh, not breed, sorry. Train coaching. Raven Gen 2. Uh, let's start with Shimozaki. Is there a point in giving this guy uh... oh, I didn't pay attention to the stance. A uh, few parameters. Raven Gen 2. Wasn't too bad. Okay, give me a sec. Let me exit. Let me put all the items that we're using down here so that I can just press the easy buttons from now on. Raven Gen 2. Shimazaki.
We're training the best chicken on the planet. One more on stamina. Shimazaki. Can't tell. Is it max yet? Almost. Going over to leg power. Oh, not breeding. Train a coaching. A Dota. Okay, now he's maxed. We can up dirt a little bit. Now we gotta dash back to the combini. At least now I know where to go. I didn't know where to go before. <laughs> what a dumbass. Accept gift. Rose and Tuna. Go shopping. Three thousand five hundred is not too bad. If I win three races. I'd almost have all my money back. Gotta keep an eye out for douche nozzles though. Shit, that increase a lot. True grit, speed rise when stamina is gone. <sighs> oh, no wonder that they really wanted me to use that one. Raven Gen 2. Newcomer class. We did the wind novice, now we're doing the chicken. Raven Gen 2, Scrambler, Line, Crusher.
Paragi Kids, Teriyaki, Big Papa, Peerless Raven Gentoo. I'm actually faster on the dirt than Big Papa. Chicken is the best. Last one in the newcomer class. The Dawn Cup. The winner earns 1.5 yen. I think this one so far is probably the funnest uh, mini game. <laughs> no, 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 that's not true. Hunting was really good, even though it got really boring really fast. Pegasus. Bullets. Slap their asses, yo. So is this how we're gonna make most of our money back? Or most of our money that we're gonna use for everything else? Kinda depends. Um... Well, let's go breed, because we need, like, a very good one. No skills. Sprint. Personality. Rogue. Chamoil. Chamoil. Talent. Boost all skill effects. Normal. Earnest. This one drops in dark a lot and leg power, but stamina goes up by a shit ton. Let's go with uh, Chamo Mele. Good spread. I got more Yakitori. Let's go have a look at my parameters Raven Gen 3. Rain Ekuchin Imazaki. I don't even know how much we get if I gift it. Oh, just the same amount as everything else. No, we don't want to enter races yet. No, go back, go back, go back. Shimazaki.
Jesus, the training of Kuchin takes fucking forever, yo. Okay, we're going over to, um... Doda. Once I'm out of tarines, I'm gonna go buy a different chicken real quick. Or an extra chicken, I should say. Accordingly, that one is supposed to be very good as well. But it kinda depends on the stats in total. What I uh, am gonna do with it. Less stamina I lost when lashed. And then I'm gonna go grab all the shit that I need again. For more training! Stamina, 271, dirt, da 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 da. Exit. It's just a regular doofus. I work on a dodge. See where's the stinky uh, weasel? He's supposed to be now. Second guy has a better chicken. Head over to Kamiya Works, and you'll find the guy in a mask hanging out outside. Do I need to buy both of them? Would suck. No, go away. Fuck you. There's the regular chicken guy. Ah, what timing. Hmm? I saw you at the Chochin racetrack, and as a fellow owner, I gotta commend you on the job one done. Oh, thanks. Us chicken meisters gotta stick together, right? I'll be a foreign chicken meister soon enough. I'm leaving town to work in Macau for a year. Macau? Whoa, that's like the gambling capital of the world. I envy you, man. Yeah, but 
I leave town for that long, I have to leave my bird behind. So listen, can I give you my Chochin? Be doing me a favor. You serious? Well, I hate to let my champ go, but there's no way I can bring it to Macau with me. I'll raise it to be a champion. Strong-looking Chochin chicken. Chicken Clugzilla. We're gonna call it... Claw. Because we have to be edgy like that, just like Raven. Okay, let me see Claw's stats. Oh, he really isn't that much better than my original... Erratic. Hey, rich guy. Rich bastard. On, sir, get up. <laughs> ah. Useless. Hey, another rich guy. Rich guy, listen, I need, like, gold plates and stuff. Anything fun I can use? I'm not sure if it's already oh, silver plate. It's not much. Honestly, it's not that great, but it'll have to do. Onisa! Fuck you with your Onisan. Ah, there he is. Oh no, that was just a motorbike. Fuck you, game! Or guide? Where the fuck is my super chicken? There he is, Jesus. I'm all out of cash. I'm out of all of the schemes. The hell am I gonna do? Uh, are you okay there? Damn it, you nearly scared the piss out of me. Hmm? Hey, I know you. See you at the racetrack. What well, racetrack? Oh, you mean the choking cup? Yeah, you guy was showing you around, right? Great, then I'll get straight to the point. How would you like a brand new cock, sir? Well, just like that. He is one heck of a bird, let me tell you. He's got the chops to go for the champion class, but right now I'm really strapped for cash. There's a turf war brewing, so I gotta load up on supplies at that shop. Uh, oops, never mind. You didn't hear that. So how about that coaching of yours for only a hundred grand? Oof, that's a big bu budget bird. But still, it'd be nice to win the cup some other time. What? Too expensive for it? This boy got rockets on his feet, you know? Okay, fine, I'll sweeten the deal. My boy for only 30,000 yen. Steal some other time. Can be choosers. Now that's more like it. Coaching chicken with piercing eyes. Now we gotta go back to the convenience store, grab the stupid things.
Because three roads qualifiers. Fine. I lost? It cannot be! Step gift. Go shopping. Arigato gozaimasen. Okay, time to go back to the races. They call and form a basis. Shit. These assholes would just run after me faster. And they'd get their uh, things, but... What's his name? Narcissus. <laughs> Lol. Uh, we're gonna call this... Akuma. Why? Because... reasons. Okay, a few par parameters. Akuma. Holy shit, it does indeed have a lot of leg power, and it's a lot stronger than the first guy. Even though he doesn't have any skills currently. Well, train a coaching. Akuma des. Uh, let's start with Shimazaki, because stamina needs to go up. Twenty two, fourteen, two, twelve. Mazaki Silver Plate Thirty, sixteen, fifteen. Leg power is maxed out, which is good. Train the coaching. Akuma des. Shimazaki. Sixteen, thirteen. Damn, bro. Don't let me press through everything so quickly, game. <sighs> Let's see. With favorability. Yeah. 
yummy. Kind of me at first. That's quicker done. And I get two points on stamina. That saves me time. On stamina. I think. And then the last one's going to Shimazaki. Okay. Train a coaching. Uh, Kumades. Shimazaki. Forget a skill. Ah, uh, come on, this. A few parameters. Ah, uh, come on. Two hundred fifty. Okay, enter races. Akuma, Ellinger class, Kamikaze, let's do this for 2000. I don't really have to pay attention, do I? It's what we like to see. You earn challenger title. Pigeon, oatmeal. Welcome. 
Rosie, you welcome. We're doing chicken races tonight. As you can clearly tell. <laughs> How is everyone tonight? What have you guys been playing, streaming, and watching? Purple Williams, welcome as well. Challenger class into the silver cup. Purple Williams, thank you very much for the follow. Ah, it's gone! What is? What is gone? Nani? Trigger. Nugget. For. Akuma. Oh. The follow alert pickle. It's gone. Yes, it is. Sleeping. Sleeping gone. My chicken too fast. I need more Hunter x Hunter in my life, honestly. Oi! Oi! I was about to say, Akuma, you better uh, not uh, suddenly stop in your tracks. You little douche nozzle. Akuma is the champion. And now he's done three races and it's time to breed! The chicken. Angel Tears. No skill, sprint, earnest, dark. Ugh, this one is doo doo. Mermaid. Ew, why are all these so doo doo? Personality frickle. Hmm. Can I uh, come back later? Let's do one more race. See if the. Oh, not not no no not Raven Gen three. See if after a race it changes. Because I don't really like any of these. Crystal. I want some uh, skills and such. Ooh, dark. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Fast foot. Akuma. Daikon. Chicken out of hell. <clears throat> Well, Chicken Out of Hell got distracted too quick. Oh no, Akuma! Hurry! Good. That's what we like to see. Better leave everyone in the dust. Okay, let's see if anything has changed. Lindsay, Guardian, and Putina. Okay, this one is okay. I do kind of want a running style on distance, though. Guardian, Fickle. Stats are 
and Patini. Occasionally slows birds on both sides. Rogue. Oh. I'm taking this one. Distance, condition normal, personality fickle. Here, take this. It's yours. Okay, now I gotta go and grab some items. Is that a rich guy again? Oh, no, you're just a random asshole. I don't want to fight with random assholes. Only with random rich guys. Uh, let me think. I do think that using the Tarniers on itself is going to take too long, and I don't want to deal with that. So I might take... Go buy something more expensive. Bring the frozen tuna! Okay, let's uh, grab Tarnier plus plus plus. It's like 25k. Let's see if there's a big difference in stats gained. I know the guy, the, this guy had already told me that it's probably best to do it the other way around, but I do not listen. I don't like listening. Let's see. Hopefully we don't run into a bunch of buttholes. Rain coaching. Akuma Gen 2. Let's start with Shimazaki. Sixty, See if the Tarner plus plus does a 22, 14, 2, and 12. Okay, it does improve. That is good to know for me at least. But it doesn't improve too much. So the regular Tarniers are probably just better. I might be crazy, but it might even be better for me to just run back and forth to ditch that stupid. Uh, a frozen fish thing on it the entire time instead of doing this We can test that later. Zaki. Uh, 
then we're holding over to Toda Toda Han Toda Yan That's maxed out, nice. I don't think I'm gonna max this one out, am I? With uh, the amount of resource that I'm carrying with me right now. At least we will be able to know if it's a good test, if it's good to use the swordfish only to run back and forth. It's not that far to walk. And the uh, loading zones are not that bad either. Okay. Well, let's go test it out. Nice if I'd run into some more of the rich guys. No, you're just a regular business guy. Your outfit doesn't glow. Just to be safe, I'll bring some more tar, uh, all the Taraniers. <clears throat> then do three more races once we're maxed out. Tune's uh, partner, and then we'll go to safe points. Okay, train a coaching. Akuma des. Kani Mia and over the frozen tuna. Let's see, seventeen, eighteen, fifty-one. It does really make a lot of difference, though, like insanely. It just kind of depends on whether or not I feel like running back and forth the entire time. Or if I'd rather press buttons the entire time. Leg like power is done.
We can try my hammer as well, by the way. That's also an item that I can just pick up. Okay, enter a race. Akuma Gen 2. Challenger class. Uh, we did crystal as well, right? Silver crystal. Shiguru Cup. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Fearless Akuma Gen 2 Daikon. Speed Demon. Second Wind. Ikuzo. Oh, Second Wind is uh, going off strong first, yo. Akuma-chan. That's what we like to see. Sprint. The second wind actually end up last. <laughs> Rally King. That is fucking funny. Raven, sorry. Akuma Gen 2. Contender class. Thor Toys. Three thousand gen. The Gembu Cup. Ponytail! Clucking around! Godbeak! Akuma! So far, so good. Look at how Kuma go, yo. Like... <laughs> this is why I want to distance, distance running. At start, he's not too fast. But once he hits the second, uh, like, uh, the second half of the run, the part... He becomes a speedy Gonzalez. Phoenix. Gumbody! So even on, even on dirt and dirt, dirt and everything, we're fast. Jeremy, Mac attack. Akuma. Five o'clock shadow. You're not. Don't really look like a shadow though. The race is on! Uh oh. Uh oh. Akuma! Akuma! Oh, I think we're not gonna win this one. Yeah, no, we're losing. Holy shit, Mac Attack was fast. Third! <gasps> We did three races, so we're breeding again. Mina. Mina me. No skills. Angel Tears. Oh, that's one of those bad ones. Normal. Fickle. Dirt. Stamina. And speed. 
What was Mina again? Sprint. Rogue personality. Uh, I guess we're going with Sprint then. Earless. Running style normal. That is... Huh. I expected at least a little bit more of a difference. Yakitori. Okay, let's see how much uh, the hammer gives. Shimazaki. If it even gives anything. Holy shit, that's so little. It's almost time to stop playing, but I just want to do a few run back and forth, see what it's like. If it will do me any good. Sokono Nisan! Up gifts. Frozen tuna. Up gifts. Up You're just a regular bastard, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Not a rich bastard, but a regular bastard. <laughs> Akumades, Shimazaki. Give him the takoyaki. Jeez, though. Condition poor. That's not great. This will save me so much time if I do it like this. Earless Rally King. I kind of think to myself that we should have got kept with Raven because he has some really good uh, abilities that are fucking useful. I feel kind of bad that uh, Akuma hasn't gotten any. 
We're just gonna do it the old way. I mean, after I save, or when we continue later tomorrow. Save Spolt. See if there's anything else worth. Don't think so. Give them pocket tissues. <laughs> oh fuck, wrong button. Yeah, I think that's it for tonight. I've been streaming for way too long, anyways. Brain hurts. Ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, I'd like to thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I'd like to thank Rosie for rating me tonight. We should all go check her out sometimes when we get the time. Stretch. Call him your tits, Yordi. Uh, I'm saving again. Uh, yeah, ladies and gents, gents and gentle ladies, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. If everything goes well, I should be live again tomorrow, and we're just gonna continue with this. Uh, yeah, finishing this mini game. It's gonna take a little bit of time, I guess, because we have to do a lot of butter presses and a lot of other things that are in fucking incredibly boring. But we'll make it through somehow, some way. With that being said, I uh, hope you all have a fantastic rest of your evening. Sleep well, sweet dreams, and uh, until next time, adios.